right, here we go. Game number one, uh, Nations Cup Grand Final between Canada and China. You might be wondering why Canada is up one nothing, um, and that is because Canada did not lose a single set. In this tournament, China actually lost to Canada in the winner's bracket. And this is the reward that the team who has not lost, who made it through the winner's bracket, gets once they get to the grand finals. So it's one nothing for Canada coming in here. There's no other real way to do this. You don't want to have them play two sets against each other, especially best of seven. Age of Empires is just too grueling to have that happen. <clears throat> And uh, this is why Canada's up one nothing. Anyway, here we go. Nomad is the map. And we will see the players here for Team Canada Mentalist as the Lithuanians will be starting over on the left side all alone. Vivi will be in the center with Burgundians here. And Vivi has docked the pond. And this is actually quite a, a nice pond here. This is a very nice pond in the middle. There's a lot of deep fish. And it's relatively safe, right? Because I don't think anyone else is going to dock this early. And it'll be hard to find Vivi's dock as well. So we'll see what Vivi can cook up in that pond in the center. Slam is playing as the Persians. And he's going to be in the north pretty by himself over here. Lix is the closest person. And Lix is playing as the Celts. We also have Chris in the center here near this pond. He is playing as the Malians. And he's got a decent-ish setup. Shore fish or box turtles here. Rhino right nearby. Woodline, but he could be ranged by any water presence here from Vivi later in the game. Hera is playing as the Spanish, and Hera is, well, he's really far away from golds and stones. This is going to be rough for him. He will need to do something to come out here and access any stones or golds to get that castle to get the conks down. That's what Spanish need to do. But they're very far away from him. And we're looking around Hera's base, and he can't even really see any rhinos i think this is reable for canada but we've already come too far this is really bad for hera like he's got one water buffalo and he's not exploring hera what are we what are we doing here buddy we got to be exploring with a villager you can't just sit here and count on your, what your fish to bring in the food that shows, I think this shows a lack of experience on Nomad for Hera. The fact that he's not even looking for anything. And only now sends the villager out. When the water buffalo is at 40 food left on it. Oh boy. Anyway, Tim is over here as the Vietnamese. And the Vietnamese will let Tim know exactly where all of the TCs are here from Team Canada. They see this one. They see this one. They see this one for sure, and they know that Mentalist is all by himself over here in the corner. And then to the south is Yo. Yo is playing as the Berbers, and Yo has a stone right here, and Yo will probably want to get into Camel Archers. And look at this! Yo is now laming Hera because Yo has way more vision than Hera because he's been exploring. And he sent the villager out, and now Hera is... Well, he's really struggling to find any sort of food. His TC will be kept alive. Or, sorry, not alive, but his TC will be producing, rather, because of the fish income. But going up to the feudal age is going to be brutal for him. How on earth is he going to ever make it up to feudal? He's luring a rhino from all the way over here. He's coming from all the way over here. Because that's the only one he could see. Oh boy. He couldn't stall out that rhino. Oh no. Hera. Hera. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. This is not what you want to see for your Spanish player. This is the guy that you want steamrolling. This is the guy you want getting to Castle Age at a really good time. And he's going to struggle. Fortunately for him, his dock is really far away from the enemy. And he has Chris in between him and uh, Tim over here. As Yo now lures in a, a rhino for Tim. And Tim has gone for the big, big walls to keep himself safe. He doesn't want that Spanish castle dropping itself on his face. So really nice stuff here from Tim. Hera bringing in another rhino from very far away. 
and he's just now going to start taking that food. But you can see the feudal age time here for Lix already coming in. And Lix will probably play water with the Celts. Hera over here with a villager. She's made a house and she's taken some food. And I don't think he knows where the TC from Yo is, but he will see this rhino coming in maybe if he's paying attention to that vill. And he sees the house and he saw the villager earlier from Yo, so he should assume the Yo is somewhere over there. It's just how is he ever going to lock down that stone, right? That's the question. Slam being harassed a little bit over here. And he's running away with his villager. Mentalist now on the way to Feudal Age, and oh my god, Mentalist has some water buffalo, doesn't he? And Mentalist is in a position now where you just kind of want him to boom, right? You want him to get up to Castle Age, you want China to be busy with all the other players from Team Canada, and then Mentalist suddenly shows up with some Paladin or some Latus. Just try and get your eco really rolling here. I don't think he needs to make military early. Slam! Oh, instant replayable here. Slam coming around with the villager. Yo chasing. And Slammer Jammer putting him in his place in a little cage there. Yo didn't think that there was a tree here, but there was. And she is trapped. And Slam will continue on. That is not pretty for Yo. That is not pretty at all. Lix is now stonewalling this area. Interesting. Usually Lix is the one to douche or something, but he's actually stonewalling, and he's going to meet up with the walls from Tim. And now Hera is on this stone, and he's forced to go all the way over here for this gold. Chris is over here on this stone. Maybe think about a castle drop of his own. And Vivi, remember, Vivi is over here too. Vivi's running out of fish in the center, but his fish have been safe till now. As Lix did indeed go for galleys, and he's going to be sniping down the fish from Slam. Slam has gotten this other dock up, and he's going to go galleys, but Lix has such a lead on him in terms of timing. He's got three more galleys in the queue, so this is a really good opening for Team China here. He's going to keep Yo's fish safe, and he's going to snipe Slam's fish right away. Yo will be going for a tower on the stone from Hera as well. He's going to be pushing him off of that, or forcing Hera to invest into a tower of his own. And this is good exploration from Yo. He knows exactly what Hera is up to. Where he's going to be taking stone. And he's on stone himself. And Yo, if Yo gets to Castle Age before Hera, he could get a castle here. And that would be absolutely brutal for Team Canada. Now Hera is forced to run away from that stone. He does have 586 though. So he could probably just buy 100 extra. But the question for me is, what is his castle age timing going to look like? It's probably going to be better than Yo's. Yo. Well, he's got another dock over here. Maybe he can start fishing there. Lix is now clearing up the fish from Chris. And Lix has done a fantastic job here. Chris has gone for a tower rush now on Vivi. And he's going to be controlling this wood line as Vivi tries to wall off on this side. But Vivi is the first one up to Castle Age. Scouts are on the field from Chris. And the scouts are going to be coming over, trying to deny this tower. But we got spearmen coming out here from Yo. So Harry and Chris need to be very careful here. We need to be very, very careful coming after this. Yo actually deletes the tower. And the spearman chases the scouts away. Chris has gone for scout towers. But so far, the towers haven't really done that much work. He's lost his fish. And the scouts aren't really doing anything either. As Slam now has galleys over on this side, he could kill Tim's fish. Could maybe kill Yo's fish at some point as Hera's fish are being taken out. This is going to be really rough for Hera to actually produce conks. And I think Hera was forced into... He was. Hera was forced into a defensive tower. So Hera's not even going to have the stone for a castle. I hope Mentalist booms like a madman. Yeah, we need him to boom. Mentalist needs to be sitting over here. And honestly, the best thing that Mentalist can do right now is ignore his teammate. Ignore the lamentations of your teammates. Ignore the crying. Ignore the high-pitched sounds that they're making as they're getting pushed by four Chinese players. And just boom. 
Just mute everything. Boom up, and you can carry 1v4. If you get yourself in a really good position. That's the hardest thing about being a boom player on Nomad. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a hole! We didn't think it was, but Chris is into Vivi's face! And Vivi is going for a castle! And he can't even really do Oh, he's over here! Chris has absolutely no chill! Vivi will be having a castle up. But where on earth is he gonna take wood? Maybe over here. Maybe that'll be protected. Chris could go for another tower on this side, potentially. Chris has absolutely no chill as Yo continues to push in. Speaking of no chill, unfortunately for Hera, though, Tim is about to go for a castle. And Hera might... Oh, no. No, 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 Tim, no, no, Tim's just gonna drop a castle here, right, Tim? Hera? Tim? Hera? Hera, Tim? Yo? Chat? Oh my god, the riskiest castle ever, but it is Spanish villagers, will they get it up in time? Will Tim's castle go up in time? Who knows, I think Hera's gonna complete this castle, I think... Tim is outside of the range, so Tim's castle will go up, and Hera's castle is going to be in the absolute middle of nowhere. In the center, you will be able to kill a few villagers from Yo, potentially. But how will he ever be able to support this? Yo is now running villagers to the south. He's still not up to castle age. The castle from Tim is completed. Hera is on the run. How is Chris doing over here? Well, he's still mining stone. But he's not up to the castle age, and Vivi is kind of safe. And now Vivi is pushing Mentalist. And Mentalist has stone walls, dude. Mentalist has a really good setup over here. Mentalist did go galleys. He did go water. And he did kill the water from Lix. But he's going to have to get himself up to castle age. And get maybe a castle of his own. I actually, I don't really like the fact that he went water. I don't really like it. Kind of feels like you were in such a good spot to not do that. And Slam was going water too. Slam has looped around and he's killed the fish. The remaining fish from China. So we see Lix still trying to snipe some stuff from Team Canada. Scouts are here from Chris. Conks are somewhere from Hera. We've got one Conquistador here and he's trying to harass Yo just a little bit. With the help of Chris. Yo is still not up to the Castle Age. What is Lix doing? He was just going water, I suppose. And he's trying to go up to Castle Age now. Vivi is roaming around in slam space with Castilier. And he's going to find his way to the wood line. And Vivi could find a ton of damage. As Mentalist is now up. Is Vivi fish trapping? No, he's still got fish in here. I would like to see like some galleys or something for Vivi. I would hate to see it as a fan of Team Canada, but... <laughs> Could do a lot of damage to Chris. Oh, Slam. Oh, Slam's losing Vils here. Slam is losing Vils here. And Tim. Completely taking care of Hera's base. Hera and Chris are just sharing this gold. Not a lot of space for Chris. You can see like the even the farming is stressful for him. He's still pushing in here. He's still in feudal and maybe thinking about another tower, but the Castilia are ready and the Castilia are killing everything. Under Slam's base. Eco count is still similar, but that's because we have fish for Team Canada. China is looking to be in a really good position. We got a castle here for Mentalist. He still has his fish alive. Remember, he did go Navy and he's clearing up the docks from Lix so that Hera can fish. Or sorry, Slam can fish once more. But Lix is looping around this way, and Lix is being so sneaky, isn't he? He could show up on the fish and kill all of those. Hera is even, like, taking Ibex over here, but the villagers have been discovered, and then the spearmen are going to kill that. Yo is still not up to the castle age, and now Hera's castle is being rammed down. And he's running into castle fire and ratans. He's also trying to batter down these rams with his villagers. He'll go for a petard now to try and kill those. Trying to repair his castle. Once this is down, he can't make conks anymore. But this is a really rough position here for Hera. 
And Slam will find the Navy from Blix up in the top here. Another TC from Vivi. Chris still has these villagers forward. And he's going to be in Castle H. And maybe he could drop a castle on Vivi. Who knows? We have a castle here from Mentalist. Some Latus out here. And he's going to kill the forward villager from Vivi. I'll also find these docks from Lix. But Lix is doing a good job getting fire ships out. And he's going to try and just clear up all the fish that Mentalist kept alive. And the ones that Slam is making now. The castle's still up. The castle's still up, and Tim is going for more ramps to take it down. And Yo is finally on the way to Castle Age, but Hera has just been roaming around here with these conks. And a lot of Yo's eco is spread out. Defenseless, if Hera finds that. Hera's at 23 villagers, by the way. He has no TC gaming, and now he has no castle gaming. In one way, that's really bad for him. In another way, that's really bad for Team China as Chris kills the idle fish from Vivi here. It's really bad for Team China because Hera literally has nothing else to focus on but these five conks. <laughs> so that's kind of bad for Team China because Hera can give these conks his undivided attention. Zero idle TC, yep. And now he's losing even more vills. Hera's at 19 villagers right now. And there's the castle from Yo. Conks are still kind of going ham. But it's not the impact you would want to see from the Spanish player. And now Lix is looped around. And he's killing the fish from Mentalist. Castilla here. Gearing up to maybe attack someone else. He already hit Slam. And Slam is 3 TC booming now. Chris is adding extra TCs as well. As the conks are taking out Wrath and Archers. He has only so many conks though. He would almost trade five Rathans for a Conquistador here. Because once they're gone, they can't be replaced. Oh boy, this is looking rough for Canada. Is Mentalist really in a carry position? Not really, because he went water early, right? Tim's got three TCs pumping. He's at 61 vils. It's more vils than Mentalist. Slam is at 61 vils as well. But Vivi has Castilia. And Hera is at 19 villagers. And Vivi is now into Chris's base. So this is a major problem. Also, Tim is coming forward for a castle. And Chris, well, he doesn't really have anything to deal with this. We got camels coming over from Slam, but that's about it. What are the sling rules? You can only sling if you're an age ahead of uh, your ally. Nice snipe here from Chris on the monk over on that side. As we see Hera finally placing another TC. He's running. The push is on from Tim. And Mentalist's boom isn't even that good, right? Because he lost his fish. And he didn't have his food set, uh, eco set up. I think him going water and Slam going water is probably what got Team Canada into this position. And there's a forward castle from Lix. Oh, boy. Lix has been such... Like, Lix has been carrying this team, this game. He basically killed all of the fish, even though there were two players from Canada on water. He managed to take out a lot of their navy and the fish. He's got two TCs. He's got a decent villager count. And now he's forward castled slam. And Hera is... It, it, well... <laughs> it's a good TC, I guess. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Two more TCs for slam. Persian Boom is kind of insane. If you can get it rolling. And he's at 86 villagers. He's got the most villagers in the game. Slam's Boom is looking really, really nice. And he's clearing up the Castilia. But the castle's still working away on his TC. Tim's got another castle over here. And Tim has 18 Rattans with Siege and castles to back it up. <laughs> 
Hera has nothing better to do but lame rhinos from Yo. He still has these three Kongs alive. And Mentalist is pushing out, guys. Mentalist has a forward castle now on Vivi. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's let him cook. Lix is now attacking a Persian TC. That will take a while to go down. Hera rebooming up at the top, going for a market. Still being annoying with these conks. And like I said, it's bad for Team China because he has literally nothing else to do. And Mentalist is trying... Mm. Castilla cleared up the ram. Mentalist kind of expanding this way. Slam is still booming. Slam is at 104 villagers. If they give him enough time, Slam can change the course of this game. And he's got gold up here. His food eco is being set up. He's got 46 on food right now. If they let Slam cook, that's very dangerous for Team China. But Tim is now on the way to Imp. And I feel like Chris is just simply going to die. Chris is just going to die here. And Vivi's not going to die slowly enough. Right? We need Mentalist kind of going up to Imp. The same time we're looking at his res, it's not gonna happen. We gotta find these conks from Hera. Are they still alive? <laughs> oh no! One of them died. Let's fucking go. <laughs> that was sick, dude. And Yo just pulls back. He's like, I've had enough of this shit. <laughs> that was sick, bro. But he dies. He's dead. And now the Cassilier are hitting Slam once again. Slam is on the way to Imperial Age. We now have Yo on the way to Imp with 83 villagers. Yo's done a good job to reboom. Another castle here from Tim. And what does Chris even do in this situation? He can't do anything. All he all he can do is like simply delay. Right? You just gotta delay Tim, but Tim just walked right through your base into slams. And Slam is going barracks. He's gonna try and open help here, but you look at what he's against on this side. It's Wrath and Archer's Woads. Helps won't be good against that. He's against Castilier that keep coming into his base. Mentalist now raiding over on this side with the latest. He's still not up. And the Woads are now hitting Chris, and Chris is dead. Hera has been dead forever. Still just booming up here. He's hoping the Licks. He doesn't want to expand because he doesn't want Licks to see him. And Lix finally takes out that TC, and they call the GG. China winning that game. I mean, just some uh, some mistakes from Canada, and I felt like that was just Nomad Experience mistakes, right? Um, I like the civs from Canada. I felt like execution-wise, they all played fairly well. Um, it's just Hera not scouting early. He didn't do anything to really secure that stone when he went out there to take it. He did end up getting the castle up, but then his base is in a position where it's it's wide open because there's no walls or anything from him. And his uptimes were a little bit stunted because he couldn't find the rhinos early. And then we had Mentalist over here going water. Slam is also going water. Team China only had one player committing to water, which was Lix. And Lix managed to kill all their fish. And it doesn't matter if you still have a presence on water if your fish die. That's the purpose of controlling it. And he just, Mentalist, even though he was in a perfect position over here, the investment into water just slowed him down so much. Also, Chris going scout towers, but not really delaying Vivi into getting that castle up. Kind of an issue, right? <clears throat> How much kills did the Kongs get? Not that many, actually. But China played that really well. I like the fact that Yo came forward to harass, forcing her into a defensive tower. Then he had to buy the stone to make the castle. He couldn't put it over here because of all the stuff there. 
Tim played really well with these early walls. I mean, you can't understate the early walls from Tim and Licks. They completely shut this area off from Canada. No push is possible. Hera can't go for a forward castle on Vivi. Or sorry, on Tim or on Licks. And Licks is safe to boom up while he's applying water pressure. It's really, really nice. And then, of course, Vivi getting the castle because still, we knew what happened. Okay, 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one here. Yeah, look at Hera's eco was bad. Chris's eco was bad. Tim's eco was amazing. Good job from Tim. China is the only one who actively wall on Nomad. Yep. I think Finland does too. Do you just give up Nomad to China and not draft civs for it? Well, they did draft Spanish, I think, and it gave them a better chance, but unfortunately their Spanish player was just in the center. I think that's a re. Like, it's got to be a re, right? Harris in the center. He has no rhinos in vision. And they didn't call re. It's very strange. You want your Spanish player on the side. And with a good start. We'll see. In previous sets, Canada has been more than willing to just consider Nomad a loss. Against like Finland and China. Um, wow, dude. Oh my, four sieves for that. Oh boy. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> and we look at the sieves that China used, right? They had Vietnamese Berbers. And that's it. How come they got only 12 sieves when it's best of seven? So the sieves that they pick are sieves that only they can use. All the other ones left over out of the sieve pool can be used once by each team. So, for example, Burgundians, right? Shiny used Burgundians that game. They can't use it again, but Canada can use Burgundians. If it's not on this list, it's on this list, which is the remaining sieves left over. They can each be used once by each team. Are there sieve bans? Nope. Basically, whatever you're picking is like banning it from the other team. Two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up, or Jordan! Jordan! Hello. Welcome back for the 11 months, my friend. Hello, Jordan. Can you show all the sieves at the same time? I don't like doing that. It's just, it looks ugly. The Viper. Is that even... That's the correct one. Oh, they took your check mark away, just like Tristan. Everyone's here, dude. Can they pick the same sieve on the same patch? And the ones available for both. Yes, they are match. Sorry, I read patch. Yes, they can. The pros are here for the non-biased casting. That's right. It's actually a little bit more non-biased today because Canada's up one nothing, and I want it to be a good series. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm not happy, but I'm kind of pleased that China won that Nomad game, especially with the way they've been playing this week. They took a few losses in their little practice um, tournament. It isn't a fake Viper. No, it's the actual Viper, I think. Unless the fake Viper has 191,000 followers. That'd be a lot of effort. That would be a lot of effort to go to. I'm going to build my channel up to the same level so that I can pretend to be Viper. Let's take a look at the prize pool. Has anyone else donated? Oh, let's go, Angel. Thank you for the two dollars. Prize pool is up to eighteen thousand now. We've gotten fifteen hundred today. It's nice. And sub for thirty-three. 
Viper has been Viper has never like shared his sub. He just resubs. What a chad. He never shares it. 33 months. Or people are just I don't think people gift it to him either. Still sub, I know. That's a there's a really big discrepancy between him and Jordan. Jordan's at eleven. I don't know. That's three times as long. Big discrepancy. <laughs> I'm speaking Jordan right now. Leave my pants alone, man. <laughs> What was the other word that he made up the last time we cast together? Someone's going to know it. There is another one. Reverse, reverse. What's the reverse of a reverse sweep? That was good. Pronunciator? No, pronunciator was earlier. Yo, Matsu, thank you for the uh, gift of sub to doubt. I see. Evaporized, that was it. Vaporized. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, they're in the lobby right now. Um, let's see what they're... Mentalist, are we singing here or what's going on? We don't need we don't need music when we have mentalist. Silence. Complete silence in their team chat right now. I do not have it muted. It is just complete silence. <clears throat> That's slam. Oh, you got an X in uh, Hera for Vivi? Lo <laughs> Lobby music brought to you by Mentalist. Album comes out next month. <laughs> all right well, i guess all we can do is just try to up our level uh game by game here try and play a little better every every game oh we will yeah all right got saracens <laughs> malay just double check Gundams. your color or yeah you got hair okay good for gun news all right. All right let's now go. we're on the Canada home map. Let's get a dub here, boys. God, I love Mentalist. Damn. Oh, my God. I love Mentalist. Dude, I love Mentalist. We just got to up our game. You know, every, every match, we just got to up our game. Canada home map. Let's get a dub here, boys. I like Chris, too. He's like, oh, we will. And you can just hear Hera sigh like the stress from last game was getting to him. <laughs> We'll get better every game. <sighs> Toby, thank you for the eight months, bro. All right, game two coming up. And uh, we are going to have Migration, the classic for Team Canada in this, in this tournament. Migration, we've seen a lot of it, and Canada is still undefeated on this map, and it looks like they're going for... Uh, Fairly similar sieves as usual, except this time... No, Chris is still in the pocket. Okay, Chris is playing as Italians this time. So over on this side, we have Mentalist playing as the Saracens. And he's going to be matching up against Yo as the Dravidians. And the Dravidians are very, very nice on this map. You can go for the Dock first uh, before the Lumber Camp if you want. And doesn't seem as if anyone's going for that strategy. But they do have decent synergy with Dra Japanese um, on the other side, giving five population for every dock that is made as a team bonus. 
Japanese only having to spend 50 wood on the lumber camp is really nice. They can get their dock up super soon. Anyway, Dravidians against Saracens. Mentalist will probably want to dock a little bit further back, maybe over here, and buy himself a little bit of extra time to build up the galleys against this Civ, which will be up really, really quickly. On the other side, we have Lix playing as the Japanese. Like I mentioned, he's going to be up against Slam as the Malay. Two super quick civilizations. Japanese. Oh, Slam. Fixer. Fixer. Thank you. Nice. Butt to butt. That's how we like it. Japanese with the Dravidian team bonus should have a little bit of a faster dock into fishing ships. And their fishing ships are tanky and they gather more. So that's really, really nice. This is also a beautiful dock. We got two shorefish nearby. For licks. Then we have Hera as the Burgundians. We've seen this before. He likes Hindustanis. He likes Burgundians as the pocket here. He's going to go to the center and he's going to try and play Cassilier there in that middle island. And it's all about middle island control. In the pocket for Team China, we have Tim playing as the Byzantines. Now, Byzantines have some options. They could go Castle Age fires, they could go Fast Imp into Fast Fires. Although the fast fire approach hasn't really worked as well as people thought at the beginning of the tournament. I've seen it many, many, many times. And usually whoever has control over the land at the point where the fast fires are coming up for the Byzantine player um, wins the game. Regardless of whether they keep water control. Vivi is playing as the Hindustanis here as the final player in this game. Or sorry, we haven't introduced Chris yet, but... Vivi will be going camels in the center. Maybe some monks added in. And then Chris, as the Italians, could decide to do a few things, right? Chris could go for the Castle Age Fires himself. He could go for a fast stimp into fast fire himself. Or he could just go, which is probably likely, a few fires in Castle Age. And then boom up into the in the middle into, like, Genoese Expo. Just probably what he's going to opt for. What does pocket mean? So pocket means that you're one of the middle players. You see how Canada is lined up? We got Mentalist, Chris, Hera, and then Slam. So Hera and Chris are going to be the pocket players. They're like in Canada's pocket, you know? The other team has to go past the flank players to get to them. What does build order mean? It means the order of your builds. <clears throat> That's right. How much gold and stone is there on this map? Like on each island? They each have eight tiles of gold. And then they have six tiles of stone. But if we want to see total gold. 121k. Stone. 30.4k. There's a lot. What does Canada mean? <laughs> I'm stuck in the loop now. <laughs> Malay condo should do good. Why? This is old patch. They don't get the infantry armor upgrades instantly. Is it meta to go back dock for a flank? Um, We've seen Lix go forward before. And do Lix and Vivi go forward and do like a front dock fire ship approach? Uh, if that is what you mean, like land villagers then walk across. But it hasn't really worked out yet. It kind of worked for Max a little bit in the Finland game we watched earlier this week. He did the same thing. But yeah. Mentalist versus Yo on the flank. That's going to be a challenge. Well, Mentalist is doing the correct thing. And he's, he's docking a little further back. So he's just going to try and control this choke point. You can see he's like 30 seconds behind Yo. Up to the Feudal Age. Lix is actually up first. But Slam was up before him. So Slam will have a little bit of an advantage here. But Lix will have three docks producing. Remember that Saracen galleys do fire faster. So in equal numbers, Mentalist should have the advantage between the two of them. That mining camp from Mentalist is crazy. I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's like really efficient here. And then if he really needs to saturate it, he can. And he's playing Saracens. So sometimes you need to, you know, just toss a bunch on gold. So 
So three dock production here for Licks. Slam. Got up a little bit sooner, which means his initial two galleys were out. But his third dock is kind of taking wood away from that galley production. He's going to struggle produ to produce from three. He does find the galleys, though, from Licks, and he'll need to fall back. As Lix takes a good engagement here against Slam. But Slam will be following up with another galley. Could potentially heal this ship up as well. But probably wants to save this villager. No loom on this vill. The galley gets sniped down. Great job here from Lix so far. Slam kind of struggling. This is unusual for Slam, right? You put him on the flank. You say, win the galley war. And he usually does. But Lix has sniped two ships. And Slam has only sniped one. Problem for Lix is that it's a ways away to reinforce, right? Slam's docks are right here. Over on the other side. Mental is defending against Yo. Yo hasn't gotten any kills yet. Mentalist needs to save this vill, which he's doing, and Mentalist should be fine. And Slam lost the vill. Oh boy. Ugh, jeez. Hera has gotten to the middle here. Slam is gonna try and hold these galleys away from Hera's fish. Lix is playing really well, and Hera's going to try and save his transport as Lix dives in. He's looking for the fish from Hera. Slam is on the chase, but more galleys are coming from Lix. It's a rough position for Slam. And Mentalist is now being pushed back on this side. Oh, no. Oh, Team Canada. They're going to have to weather the storm. The sieves for China are so nice here. Dravidians and Japanese, just Dravidians on this map gives you a nice little timing advantage. And you can already see it coming into play. Slam, though, finding some really good engagements here against Lix. We got 1v1 Galley War up there, and Slam will be able to clear this up. Will Mentalist be able to clear up Yo over here? He's on the chase. And so far, limited fishing ships getting sniped down here. Hera will need to keep an eye on these fish as Yo is still microing around on this side. And Chris, in Chris fashion, has gone for a few fires to support. And Yo will have struggles microing against galleys, Saracen galleys, and fires. He might choose to just go for the fish from Hera. Hera's going to block him, though. Or he's going to try and block him. I don't know how good of an idea that is. <laughs> Hera's like, look at me. Slam is recovered somewhat on this side, as we know he does so well. Galleys here from Mentalist, hiding behind the fire galley from Chris. And Chris will produce more fire galleys to help keep the fish safe. And even though China had a really good position, they have managed to snipe limited numbers of fish as Hera and Vivi now engage on the middle with scouts. Is this the grand finals? It is. We can take a look at the Eco Kitty. It's only five fish that have been sniped here. One from Slam, four from Hera. Make that five. Make it six soon. But Canada have managed to recover. Idle TC time for Slam and Mentalist. Kind of up there, however. Hera getting up to the Castle Age. Chris getting up to the Castle Age. He's going to go for a TC. I hate the fact he hasn't walled this in. <laughs> I... <laughs> Didn't mention it in a very... I, I mean, nothing's going to happen to it, right? It's got the scout as well. I did mention in our chat in a very polite manner after one of the games where both of them got villagers killed not walling them in on their middle buildings that maybe they should think about it. Tim is about to click in with Byzantines. Crazy boom here from Tim. And he's gone for a monastery in the, in the center here. Now, he won't have a second TC to produce more villagers, but he will have the ability to make fast fires. And that can be very scary for Slam. I mean, like, Slam will have war galleys against fast fire, and that's just not a pretty picture. Maybe double TC in the center. The scouts are coming in. And they're unable to stall at this town center. They get there just a little bit too late. Oh, oh. This one's going to go up, though. The villager goes down, Hera. Del 
delaying the TC, and he almost delayed this one, too. That's why you gotta wall your villagers in, boys. Mentalist has also reached the middle. Slam will probably need to hop in Hera's transport ship soon and get to the center. He's up to the castle age. Lix is on the way. And Slam will get War Galley and Bod Canero. And we see Chris now looping in towards the fish from Team China. And Mentalist is here with the galley sniping down the fish. So a little bit of revenge maybe for Team Canada as Mentalist is now on the way to Castle Age. And Vivi's in a position where he's losing fishing ships. However, we do have fires coming over from Tim. And Tim is a minute away from Imperial Age. Mental is just chopping away. He's waiting for Castle Age. Slam needs to get to the center. Slam is winning water over here. Lix is waiting. He's waiting for his War Galley upgrade. He's waiting for the Fast Fire upgrade. Slam is killing fish. Hera going for another TC. Chris going for another TC as well. Slam needs to get to the center. I keep saying this, but he needs to get to the center. That's the most important thing, especially after you see Tim hit Imperial Age, you need presence on that middle area. Yo coming over with some war galleys. Soon to be war galleys. And fast fire is on the way from Tim. War galley dock might be denied here. But the fast fire should be able to clear up slam, right? Has Lix done the math? He that he hasn't. War Galley is now queued up in this stock. As Hera goes for his first castle. Chris is helping to push this back. Chris is not going up to Imperial Age soon. Remember, this imp looks very dangerous from Tim. Until you consider the fact he kind of sacrificed his eco to do it, right? He's got a lot of fish, but they're going to be fishing inefficiently here pretty soon. And he doesn't have a second TC. So it'll work for him. Sorry, with the voice crack. It'll work for him if he manages to clear all of the water very, very quickly. But it feels like Slam is going to be able to try and hold here with demos and war galleys. And Hera can maybe make some demos of his own too. And Hera is still on the center. Eco count is ahead for Team Canada. That might change. As they start to uh, snipe all these fish down. You need a lot of demos for that. Remember, Slam still has these war galleys, right? Like, their demos are going to be chipping away at the fires. And all you need to do is delay him. You don't need to win the fight. You just need to delay him. Buy yourself as much time as possible. And the demos are still doing some stuff. The demos are doing stuff. And there's more demos coming from Chris. Of course, Chris loves demos. Meanwhile, on the other side, fires from Chris, tanking the damage from the fast fires. Mentalist still engaging with these war galleys. And Slam has managed to kill a lot of this navy. As the demolition ships are going to be coming out. Boom. And Tim's forced to make more fast fires. TC's here from Mentalist. TC's here from Slam. Canada knows what to do. they played this map many, many times. They just need to expand their eco on the center. Mentalist will go for even another TC. And he's just kind of sending as many villagers across as he can. In Chris's transport ship. Good teamwork there from the pockets. To transport the ships or the villagers from Mentalist and Slam over to the mainland. Tim needs to get Greek fire. <laughs> he needs a castle first, though. <laughs> Lix has now gotten to the mainland. Um, we also have Yo with a presence, Tim with a presence, Vivi with a presence. So all of the players in this game are currently on this main island. As Slam is now being surrounded over here. And Chris is on the way to Imperial Age. 88 villagers for Chris. 85 villagers for Hera. And they're not super reliant on fishing eco. I guess Chris kind of is. He still has 20 fishing ships. But Hera isn't anymore. 
as they now find the TC from Lix, and they're going to deny that second one. Tim's still taking out ships over on this side. Over on this side, Mentalist is doing a pretty good job to hold against Yo and Tim. Demos are going to get some value. Uh, we should have more demos on the way. Yep. And Yo is trying to push in here. As Mentalist just tries to give up water as slowly as possible. I don't think he is under the impression he's going to win this. But you just got to kill as much as possible. And Chris can still send some units in. He can still send demos in here to help you. On this side. Vivi is attempting to come forward for a castle, but Hera is here. Hera is here with the Castilier, and Hera is already going for a castle of his own. He's gone for the wall off on this side. Monks are trying to convert the units from Hera, and Vivi will go for a castle here? How many villagers? He's got 10. Hera's got 7. And Hera is significantly ahead in building progress. As Castilier come over, and Hera just needs to delay this as long as possible. He's killed a villager. His castle is going up. Will this be denied from Vivi? Vivi is sending more vills. Hera is committing here. We got Genoese Expo coming out from Chris. And both castles are going to go up, right? Right? Yeah, both castles go up. Imperial Age is reached from Vivi. Hera just now clicked up. But Chris already has Imp, so Chris should be going for some trebs. To push this back. I think he's a little bit distracted over here. And over here. Waiting for chemistry. And he's queuing up a treb. And he's going for some siege workshops. Canada is still ahead on eco. They are behind on military though. Because Team China is controlling the water. And Vivi is in a pretty good position. 95 villagers. He's got a lot of military. He's got trebs out already. Petards from Hera are starting to take down that castle. If we get Trebs out from Chris, this castle could die pretty soon. Tim is playing instead of Bad Koala. Yeah, well, Bad Koala is not on the China team. I think that's who you mean. Bad Koala was only on their team for that um, show match event. Look at the angles Hera's taken to keep this Petard safe. <laughs> Both castles are probably going to go down, but Harris is waiting for him. Chris is waiting for Elite Genbo, and Chris has four Bomber Cannons queued, too. Over on this side, Yo is pushing in. Do they see this? They do. They know about it, and Chris is going to go deal with that. Mentalist needs to abandon that spot. Look at the villager counts for the flanks here. Yo has a decent boom. 92 villagers. Going for Armored Elephants as well, and he's setting up the castle over here. Uh, Mentalist is at 63, which is really rough. That's the same as Lix. Lix is on the way to Imperial Age. As Hera has kept his castle alive for now, but it's about to fall. Slam is 84, which is also decent. And the pocket players for Canada have really strong economies behind this. Hera goes for another castle over here, and Lix is on the run, man. Lix is on the run, and these Genbos. Oh, these Genbos against Camel? Oh, boy. Vivi's thinking, oh, Jesus. I got to deal with Genbos on a hill now? Elite? Tim, still here with the fires. He's got 45 fires. And oh, my God, he's landing slam. He is landing slam. Tim is going to take over Slam's home island. And Slam will just need to focus everything towards the middle here. Hera with the traps. Hera with the traps on the camels. He's walling himself off. The castle will go down though as the Genbos try and make their way over here. Looks like Hera and Chris are focused on this side. Taking care of Yo and that castle is going to go down. Hera will kill some more villagers. And <laughs> Slam is just trying. He's trying to survive. Crossbow upgrade coming in. Slam even walls out the villagers from getting the castle. Sick. He could go for another gate here. Slam. That is sick. He's using the converted bills 
to wall off the castle. He goes for a tower now, and the castle's gonna be denied on Slam So Violent, but it's only a, a limited amount of time as there's crossbows here. And Tim will delete that castle and place it elsewhere. Meanwhile, in the center, we get Campbell's raiding all over the place. Chris is here with the Genoese Expo, though, getting Pavise as well. He's gonna take care of that, and it's a steamroller over on this side. Elite Castillier, Elite Genoese Expo. Yo is forced to reboom over here. There's really no defenses, though. Trying to go for a castle. As Chris will come forward with these Genbo. He'll see that castle, knows he can't deny it. The most panic lumber camp I've ever seen in my entire existence. As a caster, as a human, as anything. And there's another castle in the center. Slam is still holding. <laughs> Slam is still holding. He won't give up, goddammit. And he's going into elephants. 70 elite gem. Yeah, Chris has no chill, man. Chris takes some time. You gotta let him cook. But as soon as you get, like, late game, you will look up and the military numbers for him, the compositions for him, will sometimes just be ridiculous. Seven Treb stack as well, yeah. The control is not perfect, always, as he tries to micro away from the castle fire and micros back into it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Still trying to deal with the raids of the Imperial Camels. He's sending some Trebs over here. Maybe deal with this stuff. Castilier with Genbo behind. It's going to be Arbalist and Skirmisher for Lix and Tim. As Yo has managed to kind of save some of his stuff. And there's some random Genbos over here too with Bomber Cannons on the way. Slam. Well, he's still living. We thought he was going to die. Tim thought he was going to die. Probably Slam thought he was going to die, but he's still living. And Slam is going battle elephants. He's got 119 vils. They're cheap. And they give a nice little meat shield here. Chris did lose his castle, but Hera's going for one anyway. Hera's also got bomber cannons to take out the Trebs. And it's an impressive Treb stack here from Chris working away on this castle. Unfortunately, he's firing uphill, but oh my god! How many Treb? 11 Trebs! I don't care how much you surround that castle, how big of a hill you're sitting on. Chris has literally no chill. That castle must die. That castle was... It wasn't even alive in the first place. And Hera is, Hera is repairing his castle, but that one will, will go down and the Trebs will advance. We have Genbos behind dealing with the camels. We have elephants pushing in, tanking fire. Castilia on break, I suppose. And the Trebs are clearing everything up from behind. Yo is trying to push over here. He's got bomber cannons coming forward. But Chris has so many castles here. And it feels like China are just going to really struggle to stop this push. Like, how on earth? That castle's dead. This stuff is dead. Slam is surviving. Villager count is close. Military count is still in favor for China. But I think a big part of that is the f Navy that they have. And the map position is looking really good for Canada. Another castle over here. Chris needs to not let Yo cook over here. And it looks like Hera is chasing down the bomber cannon. Nice snipe there from Hera. Stalling out Yo a little bit as they continue to steamroll. That's what water does for you, PJ. China has the score lead. But it's pretty clear right now that... Canada is just kind of controlling everything. Credit to Slam for not losing this. You might think the main island or his first island isn't important, but it's 56 vils here. That's a big part of his eco. Really, really nice stuff. Take a look at Mentalist over here, too. He managed to save something on his island. We want to see Mentalist get involved. He's going Hussar right now. 
He was going water for so long, and then he kind of got nuked. So his eco has been really far behind this entire time. He might even be slinging. He's not. No one's slinging, really, from Team Canada. We do have sling happening from China with Licks receiving resources from Vivi and from Tim. Treb sack under threat. Chris needs to pull back his genbos. Slime's still surviving. <laughs> and Mentalist is now starting to spam Halberdier. So all four players from Canada are engaged. Or not Halberdier, Hussar, sorry. Mentalist will be killing Vils over here. Good quick walls there from Yo. As Slam shifts his elephants over. And Yo was the guy that they needed to push. Team China needed Yo to be pushing, and now Yo is being pushed back. Chris is down to seven trebs, though. <laughs> As he's trying, he's like, get back here. He's trying to chase the camels. He's got genbos coming from everywhere. <laughs> Yo and Vivi trying to hold over here. Tim is now landing the island from Hera, and that's a lot of farming eco there. But Hera will be going for a castle here. Castle will fall from Tim on that side. Everything is falling over here. Big raids coming in from Team Canada. Hera might lose this whole island, though, if he's not careful. He's got to be careful. That's a lot of farming. It's a lot of farming. Tim just trying to do what he can. Slam and Chris pushing them back on this side. Hera trying to engage against this. That's a no-go. This nice setup here from Lix. As Lix pushes forward and tries to take out the Trebs and tries to deny this castle. But Hal Skirm is simply not going to do it, right? Even with Japanese. Trebs are taking out everything. Imperial Camels might do it. As they come over, and Hera will try and save as many Vils as possible. Hera is still losing Vils here, and he's going to go for Watchtower. He finally realized what's happening. Same sort of defense as Slam. It's a crazy migration game. China is holding really well here. Feels like Mentalist just is really slow to get back into this game. He did a great job earlier. But you can see his resources. Like, he's struggling to find space to do anything. As Hera loses quite a few villagers. His Arbalists have 20 villager kills. That will give him more space for army, though. And he's up at 60 Castilier. Lick's now going for keeps over here. Yo is still kind of holding over on this side. Vivi now looping over here to try and secure this map. And Chris and Hera aren't really pushing all that fast, but now Chris is in here with some Genbos. Those will kill a ton of villagers. You can see the trade is happening from Team China. Trade cogs all the way across. Maybe need to add in some of those from, from Canada. It, it, it does take up population space, though, and... Canada is in really no position to do that because Tim is all over. Can China pull this back? Can China pull this back? Mentalist finally has an army. But Yo is kind of holding over here. We've got the Trebs now dead from Chris. Never mind. He's got... Four in the queue and he's got ten on the field. <laughs> I, I kid. <laughs> they just weren't there. <laughs> They're always somewhere. God, these genbos have been absolutely frying this game, haven't they? Now Slam will go for guard towers. He already teched into it to keep himself safe over here. Might as well. Villager count. Looks like Team Canada killed a bunch. Really starting to swing in favor of them. 
The Trebs are coming over. And Yo might sacrifice like 10 units to kill a Treb, but we've always got more from Chris. And he's just going to keep working away on these castles. Look at Vivi's eco right now. He's got one on wood. He has one on wood right now. There's no wood here. Okay. And Slam is still making elephants. He's still pushing. Mentalist finally has an army here. But we got a big army over here from Team China. Look at the army numbers here, folks. And Lix is pushing like a madman. Vivi is now buying wood. He's buying wood. Tim still has Arbalest over here. He's trying to kill all the Vils from Hera, and he's done so. Tons of kills on these. And Tim is so desperate for wood. <laughs> he's making a lumber camp over here. Team Canada really needs to push Yo off of this area. Mental is killing villagers over here. Canada is now 100 Vils ahead. Elephants with Genoese Expo behind. This castle will probably go down. Does Yo have any stone? Yo has no stone to repair this. Once the castle is down, Yo might lose his entire eco over on this side. Chris with these treb stacks, man. It's been insane. As long as Hera doesn't really die so fast over on this side, he should be fine. And he's going for another castle, so he should be okay. Lix has done a good job to push here, though. Castle goes down. Oh, what a crazy game, bro. Mentalist with some good raids up on this side. Oh, Mentalist! Mentalist! He set up docks in the middle. Rat mode engaged for Mentalist. And he's in the middle of the trade with Saracen galleys. Or galleons. Oh, my God. This is the Mentalist we know and love. This is the mentalist we know and love. We've been saying maybe he hasn't had the greatest impact. The entire game still needs... Uh, or no, he doesn't. He does have ballistics. These things are just dodging them. But oh my goodness. He is getting so many kills. And look at the villager count. Look at the eco unit count at the top. Tim has finally cleared up Slam's home base. But Slam still has 124 vils in the center. And there goes the gold income from China. And this is why trade cogs... Kind of not as good as carts. Right? This is easy to take him out. Tim now looping all his fires around. They've realized what's happening. But Yo is being pushed in over here. Hera's kind of still being pushed over here. Mentalist has come over to help. Chris has come over to help. A lot of the resources have been stripped from this area, but there's still wood here for China to access. It's an absolutely insane game. Oh, villager, villager numbers are struggling for China. I mean, look at the resources over here. There's just nothing. There's no gold. How are they ever going to re-add trade? They have no gold. Yo is going for fires, but these are Saracen Galleons. They fire extremely quickly. And Mentalist will find himself a nice little choke point to set in. He goes for more docks. As Vivi comes in with Hussar. Oh, the eco KD this game for every player is going to be insane. Harris Castle goes down. China is kind of pushing back. But Mentalist has completely changed the game here. And Canada has taken this western side. This is one of the craziest migration games I think we've seen in Nations Cup. Mental is still holding on. Slam is over here with fast fires too. Slam has taken back the water. And maybe they're thinking about going for some trade of their own. But I think you just have enough map control here as China is trying to hold on to this one little strip to the northeast. I think you've got enough map control where you can just carry this forward without setting up trade. 
And Mentalist is going to kill a bunch of Vils over here, too. We need, like, some Bombard Cannons or something for this. That's a crazy stack from Tim. These Genoese Expo have 129 kills. It's wild. China is still pushing over here. And Lix has done a really good job. And he's taken two relics. Hera is down to 72 vils. Hera needs to recover his eco for sure. He's lost a lot. He has lost a ton. And he's still trying to take out stuff over on this side. Oh boy. Hera will be going for more town centers. On this edge. Dude, China is still holding somehow. This is wild. Mentalist needs to get over here, probably. To Yo's base. They've started the trade. Yo is trading between this dock. I mean, he's just getting as much gold as possible. 12 gold. Slam is completely surrounding the other islands. Hera is still being harassed over here. So he won't have any villagers left. As Slam and Hera now shift their focus over to this side. Japanese Tower is putting in work, though. And this is such a big army stack here from Tim. Chris will need to run away from that. <laughs> the game is kind of stalled out where both teams know that Canada has an advantage. But if some of the players on Canada get lazy and they like don't replace their eco that they've lost... Or they don't start up the trade fast enough, which they're doing right now. Or they don't keep up their production. China can conceivably turn it around. But yeah, it looks like Canada has done all the right things. They're starting to add in trade. They've built up their army. They're not tossing it away. And yo, his eco. I mean, look at yo's eco. It's terrible. Vivi's eco is not looking great. Lix's eco isn't looking... Lix has the best eco on the team with 83 bills. And four efficient ships. But the army numbers are still comparable. Canada is ahead by 200 eco units. Good stuff here from Mentalist. Man, that Galleon play just completely... Changed the, the momentum of this game, doesn't it? Felt like China was kind of in recovery mode there. And now they're just being pushed back. Chris could lose some trebs though. And Chris has no more Genoese Expo. He's got none. And he doesn't have any gold either. Just full trash. And Canada is losing military. Bruh. China's pushing back again. Vivi has done a fantastic job to raid over here with the Hussar constantly. Harris just trying to take out this tower before the bomber cannon dies. And he doesn't get it. He's also trying to get these relics. He doesn't get those. Oh no. We also have a push here on Chris's base. Tim. That's the third island he's trying to take over. We have gold coming in for Mentalist, though. As Hera will try and reboom over on this side. This is a great push from Lix. And there's a lot of wood left. Is this a wood game? Yo has 14 villagers queued from 1 TC currently. It can't be, right? But Canada, it just doesn't seem like they have anything to deal with this army here. There's five tribes from Lix. The castles are going down. We have Mentalists now targeting this TC from Yo as Yo tries to snipe down the trade. He's got Arbalist in the trade cog route. Mentalist still doesn't have the speed upgrade. 
for his trade cogs. Probably wants to get that. As he's now being killed by the Hussar from Vivi. But Chris is pushing back over on this side. I, I just, I don't even know. I don't know how this game isn't over. Number one. And, like, I, I don't know how China's doing it. Score switch again. Yeah, that's demoralizing. Should be back and forth here for the next couple minutes, though. Lix is going to lose a lot of military here, I think. Eco for Team Canada is not there, guys. It's simply not there. The resources, look at this. Like, Yo doesn't have that much of an eco either. All of Team China is really struggling. Slam's got Vils, Chris has Vils, Hera has Vils, Mentalist has the Vils, but where are the resources? They're certainly not in the military queue. And they're even taking shorefish. Like, this is bad. <laughs> Mentalist is now buying food. That's rough, bro. The Hussar are in from Vivi. And we've got Japanese Halbs, Byzantine Halb Skirm, Dravidian Skirm from Yo. got a lot of good trash units available uh, for China as Team Canada is now falling in eco. China is within 100 eco again. Siege Rams now being transported over here from Tim. That's really good from him. Are China going to bring this back? Like we have no siege for Canada. None. It feels like China is, is, is coming back in this game somehow. And Yo is raiding over here. I think it's over. I think Canada's, like, they might lose this. Which I, I don't know how. Mental is still raiding over here. Mental is now selling food. He's buying wood. Within 50 villager difference now. We have raids going on over here. Lix is still pushing over here. Slam has lost a lot. He's down to 73 villagers. Oh no. And Yo is pushing back here. Mentalist is still killing Vils from Yo. He's still at 38 Vils. And the villager lead is for China. Oh my god. What on earth? Dave crying inside. I kind of am. Uh, but it's really impressive from Team China to, to come back from this. What on earth is that? What even happened? They were so far ahead. Just never got a handle on this stuff. There was no trebs over on this side. Never got a handle on, on Tim's landing over here. Oh my, and there's no galleons around this area either. If we had galleons on Vivi's island, it'd be completely different. Canada's still ahead in eco now. They've pulled back ahead in the lead in eco. Oh my, Lanta. Limited resources for all of Team Canada. Arbalists are dead over here. It doesn't help out. Chris at all though. <laughs> Maybe he can transport back and take those farms. <sighs> Trade carts are being added now from Lix. As Lix still pushes in here. 
And he's bringing his trebs to the center area. And he's going to take out that castle. Tim also going for fast fires on this side. This still hasn't been taken out. Like, oh. Dude, this is the biggest throw. I don't even know. I, I don't even see any real throwable moments here. I think it's just an amazing comeback. It is kind of a throw. But, like, I can't point to a single moment to say, like, that's where the mistake was. Not over yet, though. Yeah, if you look at the numbers, I mean, it is over. Canada calls the GG, and Canada, for the first time in this tournament, has lost migration. Oh, my God. From 200 eco units ahead. 200 eco units ahead in this game. China wins that one. What an incredible comeback from China. We're cheering for Team Canada here. But we have to appreciate what China just did there. Even after Mentalist sniped down all of their trade here. It feels like Lix was never accounted for on this side. They couldn't push this area because Tim was sitting there with the army stack. Yo took forever to die as he does. And uh, Canada just never got a hold on that game. Plus, Tim was just ratting it out on the islands back here. He killed all of the eco from Slam, from Hera, from Chris. Only person he didn't get was Mentalist. And uh, yeah, that was amazing. Really great stuff from Tim there. Oh, boy. That, uh, that is demoralizing for Team Canada. We'll see how they respond to that. They've never really, never really had a game like that. Nations Cup, right? The only games Team Canada has lost has kind of been like nomad starts. Migration's definitely the home map for Canada. So, loss for Italians. Loss for Malay. And then a win for Dravidians, for Japanese, for Byzantines, and for Hindustanis. Let's see what the vibes are like. There's two players muted right now in the call. Uh oh. They're taking a five minute break. All right. I will as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, Canada, time to push back.
Okay, Mentalist is still singing. We're fine. We're fine. Mentalist is still singing. We're fine. We're okay. We're fine. Okay, I'll fit Liam. What do you think? Get the dono page back up. Mizzy and Space Mammal. Space Mamluke? Is that Space Mamluke? $100 from Space Mamluke. We love this. We love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. I'm assuming that's Space Mamluke. Mizzy Hood as well with the 10. Love to see that. 18,100. Yeah, I'm here, man. Oh, okay, nice. What are you thinking, Chaos Pip? Yeah, yeah, I think Chaos Pit is probably, uh, sounds capital, my dear fellow. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So is use that a refuel? Team. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, just got a little water here. Um, so they use Byzantines on, uh, migration there, so... Yeah. Should be, uh... They sound pretty upbeat. Okay. Well, they're not gonna be available. Where did right. you... Did you cut out? Where are you? Liam, you, you there? Yeah, I think he's yeah, gone quiet. Oh, no. Hmm. Liam? Yeah, yes. Uh, hi, hey, hey. Oh, you are there, okay. Yeah, sorry, it's uh, cutting out. No worries. So what sibs did they use last game for the sides? Uh, Japanese for one. And oh, for the other side. Yeah. So they still have Vikings. Dave, dude, miles. give them space. I'm not even talking, bro. Indeed. And Harris streaming his point of view. You can hear this anywhere. <laughs> give them space, though, yeah. You're breathing too loudly? Yeah. Can we join there? Yeah, yeah, just me. Nice. Give me back in a sec. Well, nobody Honestly, said Dave, pipe easy. up, son. Give them some advice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think advice from me is the thing that they really want right now. <laughs> Motivational team talk. I, 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 no. Oh, we're going for chaos pit here. Blackrock, they have sieves that only they can use, and those are the oh, ones that are displayed. Mean, by the way? All the other sieves remaining, each team can use once. Uh, for the room? Yeah. Or no. Do I have to host? Uh, host? I can host, it's fine. No, no, it's, I'm on it, I'm on it. I just thought there was already a, oh. a lobby up, but it's all good. I don't even know what went wrong last game, but I think it was just a good game in general, to be honest. I think they had better trash sieves there, guys. I wouldn't worry about it. They had some, like, there was some yeah. brutal choke points you guys had to push through, and they just had really good, like, no gold sieves. I wouldn't worry about it. my relics, too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll focus next one. Uh, Liam, you're saying, um, are you here, Liam? Or Chris? I'm here, yeah. Yeah, we were going to go for Chaos Pit for this one. Was that the plan? That's okay. just like, that was like you my attempt to, for, the, for like you know, a nice little calming, gather their scouts you know, a nice little or, calming or answer where it's like, it's not, well. so it's we'll not on you, you know how to play, you know. Um, 
probably wait till I got three bells before I send out to the wood immediate loom. I need three minutes. I'll yeah. be right back. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> should have given should have given them some negative feedback. No, no. I think this this team thrives on vibes. So we just need we just need vibes. Nice one, Dave Lasso. That's all right. That's right. Dude, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for the first time in this tournament. The very first time in this tournament, I'm nervous. In the grand finals, we've gotten all the way here, and then we've lost two games in a row. Now we've lost two games in a row. Was it nervous 2 3 to Finland? Well, we expected to lose against Finland, right? Finland were the favorites, the heavy favorites against any team coming into this tournament. So when you're not the favorite and you're down 2 3, you're not like, especially when there's a loser's bracket that you can go up through and fight through again, you're not really as nervous as when you're the favorite and you lost two games in a row. What map did they like lose on beside the two show? Uh, Canada gets a win automatically yeah, because uh, they haven't lost yet in the hey, tournament. Waiting for a it's a double while limb. They waited for Wild Slams there too. <laughs> so China lost to Canada earlier in the tournament and Canada gets rewarded for not losing a set and going through the winner's bracket by getting an uh, automatic point. Looks like they're going on to Chaos Pit, I think. Time for Canada to step up. The first adversity in the tournament. The very first adversity, and it's in the Grand Finals. I want to see Peepo Canada's in the chat. People Canada!
Thank you for the energy. I appreciate it. We need that. They still haven't started. They still haven't started. They're still chilling. They're still recovering after that. We're going to go into Chaos Pit, though. Hopefully there's no nerves for Team Canada. Hopefully they can deal with the craziness from the Chinese team. Chris does not have Byzantines for Chaos Pit. They were drafted by China and they were used the last map. Chris does not have Byzantines for Chaos Pit, folks. And that's where you that's the position you want him with is Byzantines. But we'll see what Canada can cook here. We're gonna have Chaos Pit, and this pit in the center is where the chaos all happens. There is gold on the outsides, there is none on the insides, and there's only two stones per player and two berries, and then some deer. Not even any boars. Boars could be lamed. And deer will be attempted to be lamed as well. As all the players are trying to push those in right now. Keeping their water buff buffalo safe. And uh, we'll examine the sieves here. Lix is on the side. Up against Chris. Lix is going to be playing as the Teutons. Chris will also be playing as the Teutons. So we got a nice little Teuton matchup. On the edge here. Mentalist will be playing in the pocket as the Khmer, and he will be matching up against Tim as the Incas over on this side. That's interesting. The other pocket player from Team China is going to be Yo with the Magyars, and Hera will be matching up against him with the Poles. And then Slam will be on the flank as the Celts, and Vivi will be playing as the Poles on the flank here. Now Slam has come out. He's going to try and chop through. You're going to need to wall these villagers in so you don't have a situation where two players can send their scouts over to double you. Uh, it looks like Mentalist will be trying, trying to chop through as well. And then we'll see if Chris decides to go out for a far lumber camp. He does as well. Hera loves to go for the closer lumber camp because it's more efficient um, a lot of the time. But I think chopping out is just better, right? I think having your own pathway out to the outside is yeah. just simply better. We'll see. It's so amazing that there's a team game map, map with flank trush meta. Yeah, I, Chaos Pit is just amazing. It's always been incredible. It's always been really, really entertaining. Yo is chopping to the outside. We still don't have any chopping going on here from Vivi. We've got some chop chopperoos going on here from Lix as Chris is there with his scout. Lix doesn't have Loom, but it's only one scout versus three Vils, so he's not going to take that engagement. Okay, guys, you know how it is. Moment of serenity here with the Buddha before the chaos begins. I want everyone to nearly pray. We're nervous. We are, the Canadians are nervous. We lost a game that we shouldn't have lost. We've gone onto Chaos Pit. We know what Lix and Vivi and them can do, and Yo and everyone. We know what they can do. But we're confident in our abilities, and we're going to persevere. This is no Buddha. Whatever. Shrine thing. Tim is not taking the outside wood. He's taking this wood. Interesting. And Hera is taking this wood as well. Hera just doesn't like going outside there. But Slam. Oh my god. Yo, Slam is going to be out to the outside so quickly. Holy. I think there's... A, it's actually like an argument here for Slam to come around and wall the other player's wood lines with how quickly he's going to be out there. He went for the lumber camp super fast. He's got Celts. And he's fairly efficient here, yeah. just targeting this one tree. Go back. No, go back to this tree, bro. Go back to the tree. Do, do, do. Slam. <sighs> Team Canada. Trying to engage against the Vils from Yo. Yo might lose. Yo might lose two Vils here. He's got to be careful. Yo's going to lose two villagers on the wood line. Big snipes from Team Canada. One villager on the wood line. He sends more vills back, but Team Canada is roving around in a little villager patrol on the wood lines. That's a big snipe there. 
Yo is at 17 villagers now. Team Canada, though, lost a little bit of HP on their scouts, so they need to be careful. Full wall coming over from Slam, and he's reorganized, and he's chopping away on this tree, and he is quick. And Yo just lost a vill over here, so Slam should be over able to come over here and deny the exit from Yo. I don't think he'll be able to deny Licks getting out. But maybe they can send some scouts or something around that way. Barracks here from Slam. Full walls and barracks here from Vivi. As Hera is trying to run away from the scout from Yo. And he's going to run into Slam's TC. He's going to be like, Slam Garrison. Nice. Saves the scout. Could be important. Who knows? Villagers are coming forward from Tim. And he is going to tower rush. We saw this from... Nikov yesterday from AM. Is it yesterday or another day? I can't remember. Um, but the Inca Tower Rush can be really, really powerful if not seen by the enemy. It's not noticed. And Tim is just going to skirt right through both of these players. Look at that. Can barely, barely not be seen on the other side of the berries. Mentalist might find this, though. He's going to track that eagle. He's going to find the tower. Mentalist is going to find the tower. Meanwhile, on the other side, Chris has come forward with the trush. And Lix will have to go for a defensive tower of his own. And now Mentalist is going to be rushing this down. Hera is over here with scouts. That tower will not last for very long. There is also a spearman coming over from Tim to help keep this tower safe. He's going to try and repair this. And attack the Vils here from Mentalist. Mentalist will need to run away with this and he'll lose that villager. As Vivi has come forward with the tower of his own. Slam is trying to defend. Slam has now escaped on this side. And he's sending a villager around to potentially wall in Mr. Yo. There is no escape over here from Lix just yet. He's busy. Chris is a little bit distracted by that. Hera forced to go for a tower of his own. This tower remains living. And Slam is now committing everything. And Vivi is just running right under Slam's TC. It's an interesting tower here from Vivi. In the mi middle of nowhere. Especially when Hera is not going to put farms around his TC as poles. Slam. Oh, he's distracted. He's not going to wall this in on time, is he? He's distracted. He's definitely distracted. He's trying to rush this down. He's trying to save these vills. The tower is up there from Vivi. Slam has seven vills in the queue. Slam is completely distracted currently. Chris is still rushing down Licks over on this side. Nobody really thinking about going up to Castle Age here. As Chris goes for another mill, Mentalist has been towered again. And with Kimura, he'll just be farming wherever. As Vivi goes for another tower on this side. And Slam is forced into a lumber camp over here, and he's on the move with the villager. He might be able to wall him in. He might be able to wall him in. And oh my god! Chris is over here too! He's walled in the villagers from Lix, and he's going for a tower! Slam, we need to get here, buddy. We need to get here. We need to wall them into the center. We need to wall them into the center, Slam. It is so close. Slam, we need to be paying attention. Slam, Slam, Slam. 25 wood. 25 wood. I don't know if that tree will get him out, though. He's going to discover this. He's going to discover this. We need a gate. We need something. Meanwhile, on this side, Yo is pushing in with scouts. Hera's trying to save his vills. Vivi is trying to wall this off. There's houses here that Slam can delete. And he is going to go for a counter tower. As the towers here from uh, Tim are still putting in work. Hera is really struggling on this side. And Slam has walled him in. So China cannot escape. Unless they get through the holes made by Team Canada. Or they chop themselves another hole. How is Chris doing? Over on this area. Well, he's been towered by Lix. And Lix is trying to counter uh, this stuff over here from Chris. 
as both the players are Teutons. One has four villagers garrison, the other has eight. Hera really struggling against this stuff. And there's another tower here from Tim. Tim has played really well this game. We've got some scouts from Mentalist roaming around the eco from Tim. Looking for damage, but there's spearmen there. Chris still hasn't realized that this is happening at the front, which is truly unfortunate. But he is killing villagers over here. Chris and Lix are just trying to take each other out. And Vivi is now trying to take out Hera with the help of Yo. Slam's villagers are still idled over there. Slam is now trying to maybe chop wood here, but the tower from Vivi is getting damaged. It's just chaos. I'm glad we had that moment of serenity earlier because this is just absolute chaos as Hera manages with the help of Slam to wall in these scouts, but Slam's villagers are still all alone up here. And Hera will be trying to take out these towers and save as many villagers as possible. Oh my god, Hera. Like, the amount of villagers you're going to save at low HP and then just heal them up with the poles again is wild. Oh, Slam trying to repair the tower, but the scouts are there. He needs a garrison again. He is. Meanwhile, over here, Chris is just trying to wall off the Chinese team completely. And there are stone walls over here from Slam as well. China cannot escape. But Hera is not going to escape with these vills. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hera trying to leave. He's down to 35 vills. We got eight vills in the queue for Slam. China is ahead on the villager count at the moment, but they've been walled off. They've been walled off. And we have scouts here for Mentalist. He could find a lot of damage if he's paying attention. And he's just going to bypass that, and he's going to go over towards Vivi's base. Mentalist trying to raid. Chris, somewhat safe now. Lix is at 37 vils. Chris is at 38. And Mentalist is finding damage on Vivi. But he's not killing the vils. Oh, God. He's not killing the vils, guys. Poles. They're healing up behind. And Vivi is still going for towers here. Is anyone close to clicking up to Castle Age? Maybe Chris? Mentalist, I guess. Slam has gold, and he's got six vills in the queue. So he could potentially go up to Castle. We've got Hera with poles here, and Hera actually has a decent amount of uh, resources. But he's still being towered from Tim. Tim has done a fantastic job here with the Incas. Lix is trying to escape. But there's going to be towers here. And there's going to be walls over on this side. From Chris. And now we have an outpost here from Slam. And he's going to keep tabs on these villagers that are trying to chop out. Mentalist losing the scouts over there. Castle Age is on the way for Mentalist. Castle Age is on the way for Mentalist, and Hera is just trying to survive, man. Her How is Hera about to click up to Castle Age here? <laughs> Hera has been towered by two people. He has been scout rushed. He's been trying to batter down towers that were attacking his ally. How many villagers does Lix have? Lix has 10 vils idle in those towers, just trying to escape. And he's about to click up to Castle Age himself. Slam will go for more house walls over here to prevent this chop from happening. There's also a chop here he needs to keep an eye on. Castle Age on the way for Yo and on the way for Lix too. Think the game is won for Canada? I don't know, man. I really don't. I would love to say that as well, but I, I don't know. Lix is escaping. Lix is escaping here. It's not a great situation for him. But he's going for a stable, and Yo is coming out here for with scouts now. And he's going to be in a position to harass the Vils from Chris. So Chris needs to pay attention. But I do like that the full wall is... <gasps> Oh, 
My dude. My dude. No. Mentalist is here with scouts. Okay. And light cav. And Lix doesn't see the hole. Vivi going for another tower. Everyone's kind of going up to Castle Age. Slam still walling on this side. Now he's going for stone walls over here. Mentalist is probably going to try and take care of this stuff out on the side. Chris will go for another tower. Tim is trying to escape. All of the Chinese players are trying to escape through the only opening that they have. It could be a death trap here, though. It could definitely be a death trap for Team China. One minute and 30 seconds away from Castle H is Slam. Slam still doesn't see this stuff happening here. Should probably toss an outpost over on that side. And, well, Lix is Castle Age. Chris is still futile. Chris needs to go up to Castle Age. And he's on the way up now. Okay. Hera engaging against the tower. He's in Castle Age as well. He's going for knights. We got Spearman there. Making things very difficult. Still going for tower defense. I mean, it's just ugly for Hera, isn't it? And, oh, no, Scout's over here as well. From Yo, great job from Yo. Killing a couple villagers, but the TC will not be denied. Mentalist did go for a mill, and then he's like, hey, wait. I'm Khmer. <laughs> I don't need that. Oh, nice tracking here from Mentalist. He sees the villagers coming in from Mr. Yo, and he's going to try and take care of these. Slam is also... Spotting this area. He's gone for a wall off and he's going for a siege workshop. Slam is doing a good job tracking where the cuts are happening from Team China. Team China, though, is pressuring down the center here. Hera's gone for a monastery to heal up his knights. We need mentalists to pay attention to this as well. China is getting a lot of villager kills. So is Canada, though, over on this side. And Yo is trying to escape into this corner. To reboom back there somehow. Maybe get himself some gold access. There's a castle here as well. Chris needs to tell. Chris needs to tell Mentalist this is happening. But I don't think they see it. And Mentalist can't deny it. Herod just he's struggling so hard to get his eco in check. Right? He's been pressured by two people consistently. He's trying to keep up his night numbers. He's trying to heal up his weak knights. He's now killing villagers from Vivi. We see more army here from China. And more villagers. But Canada probably has the better map position. Mentalist trying to kill some more villas. He pulls the knights back before Lix can take care of them. And uh, Tim's still unable to get any presence on the outside. Guard Tower is coming in for Vivi. Vivi is being pressured over here from Slam. And Slam has Mangonels on this side too, defending himself. Guard Tower is going to be tough for him though. Mentalist is just garrisoning inside of all, all of his all of his houses here. Mentalist's eco is struggling too. Chris is finally Castle H. He's going to go for a TC. He's gone for Pikeman as well. And he's trying to wall off behind here. What is with this though? Why are we leaving single holes and walls? Chris! How much damage can Slam do? He's going to try and YOLO in here. His Mangonel is going to go down though. He gets some... Nope! His Mangonel is being repaired. Nope! It goes down. And he gets the wall up and Vivi still can't push. Over on this side. Yo also has TCs back here. Oh boy. And now Lix has escaped to this side. Oh boy. Canada needs something. Canada needs something here, folks. Canada needs something. Did such a good job to wall them in.
But Hera is now being taken out by Light Cav. We've still got Tim over here with the towers, with the spearmen. Mentalist is trying to clear this up with some weak knights, and some pikemen are heading over from Chris. And Chris is going to try for a push over on this side, but there's a castle already there from Lix. And they don't know about the TCs from Yo in the back. Nice shot there from Slam. I'm trying to wall in these villas too and kill them off. Villager difference still isn't even that extreme. And Canada is still killing the odd villagers. But Yo is doing such a good job raiding at the back here. And they're never letting Canada get a breath. And Yo is just booming behind this too. And he's going for archer ranges here too. Canada had the same problem against Finland when they played them. I mean, the sneak base from Rubenstock just kind of killed them off, right? The sneak base from Yo might do the same thing. Castle Age now coming in from Tim. Hera trying to boom up behind here. He's going for more full works. Chris is trying to push on this side, and there is a TC there. He's got more town centers over here, but... Oh, boy. Good job from Slam with this Maganel. Still controlling the woodline access over here. But Vivi is through. Vivi is through and he's going for towers. Chris is now pushing. He sees that castle though, so he can only go so far. Still no vision on any of this stuff back here. As Tim now tries to take out all of Canada's stuff in the center. China is still ahead economically. They're still ahead in terms of military numbers. Vivi now clearing the siege over on this side. Looks like Slam Siege pushed the villagers away again over there. And, well, I don't like the way this is trending. I really don't like it. Yo has 85 villagers, and he's got a sneak base, and he's going into Cav Archers. And Canada has no idea about this. Oh, they've just signaled it. They've just signaled it. Mentalists have signaled all this stuff. They see a TC. They see a university. They see <laughs> archery ranges. And Chris will need to get a castle up here to prevent damage. And we're going to need a castle over here for Mentalists as well. But he doesn't have any stones. So Harry's just going to have to defend. With knights. Tim finally trying to get to the outside. <laughs> finally. Hera just went right past all of that stuff from Yo. Might be able to deny this castle. Hera, 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 Hera. Sneaks in here with the knight. Hera? Huh? It's not paying attention. It's going for a castle here. And the Cab Archers are killing everything back here. Mentalist is trying to wall. Hera has had many distractions this game. Many, many distractions. He's been tower rushed by two separate people. He had scouts and light cab coming to his, his base. And it's still happening as Lix gets to the Imperial Age now. 85 villagers. That's more than any other players from Team Canada. Can Hera make a comeback happen here somehow with Pulse? Doesn't look like it, right? Like we got... Ugh. Got Cav Archers over here from Magyars in a sneak position. We've got Lix and Imp now. We've got Vivi who made his way through and is still pressuring Slam. And GG is called and China has won three in a row. Oh my god. Ooh, baby. That's not good.
That's not good, but it was good play from China. It was really good play. I like the attempt from Canada. I really like the attempt from Canada to wall them off. But I think if you're going to wall them off, you have to even commit to it more, right? As soon as they got out here, it was just trouble. And also, like, like I, I don't know. The Incas, bro. Once they get a couple towers set up, it's just so tough to stop. Yo, playing the Magyar super well, sneaking out here was incredible as well. But we need we need three wins in a row for Team Canada. It is 3-0, to be honest. Well, with that with that attitude, then Canada already won the tournament. <laughs> With that logic, Canada already won the tournament. <laughs> Time for Canada to release the Kraken? Yeah, maybe. Oh, wow. Okay. Three, one. Oh, boy. Now Canada needs to win African clearing as well. Canada has already beat Af uh, China in African clearing in this tournament. They've already beat this team on African clearing. They beat this team on Team Islands as well. Um, so. I hear mom grope me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to Twitter. Will you stream some more after Dave? We want clowning. I don't think so, WBM. I don't think so. Okay, we need three wins in a row. It is definitely doable. African clearing was a win for Canada against China in their first set. Team Islands was a win for Canada against China in the first set they played. I don't know if they played Arabia. Why did I sweep? Oh, God. Oof. Canada has them right where they want them. Yep, that's right. Did Canada use any of their sieves? I was just about to look at that. Um... They did not there. China used Magyars. Yeah. I know it's not a harem map, but would BF have been a good option against China? Uh, maybe? China's played a lot of BF recently. China's playing super well. Uh, trash it. But Canada's also not probably not playing up to the level that they've shown so far. Yeah, Harris Harris kind of struggled a little bit. Um, obviously in that Nomad game, he was in a rough spot. Uh, and then the Chaos Pit game, I mean, he got 3v1'd. It's like, I don't know. Just don't trust China with so many players banned for stream snipe in this tournament al already. I mean, okay. There wasn't any players banned for stream sniping in this tournament, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. There wasn't a single player banned for stream sniping. <laughs> Mexico B was banned, but not for stream sniping. Mexico B was banned for refusing to schedule and being uh, very inconsiderate. The game versus Vietnam? Oh, oh, you mean when 
they save and exited and then um they click view map that's what you mean that's not stream sniping It was song song, it was banned, yeah. How come Hera doesn't call the shots and decide strategy? Isn't he the best by far on the scene at the moment? Team games are a different animal. Um, you usually want to delegate your team game strategy caller to the people who has watched the most games because the meta develops, right? And Chris, we don't really have a guy that calls the shots here, but Chris and Mentalist have been watching more games and studying the other teams. China have been playing a lot of team games recently, yeah. Are there any ice hockey players in Team Canada? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure if you would ask them, probably Chris and Mentalist have played hockey at some point in their life. And maybe Slam. I don't think Hera has. But a lot of Canadian kids played it growing up and into their teens. I, I never did. Like, I played pond hockey in the occasional pickup league. But, like... I never got into it as a kid because my parents refused to wake up at 4.30 in the morning for practices to drive me to the rink. And I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I never started. Honey Tubes, thank you for the 15 months. Isn't it required to play hockey as a Canadian? I think more kids play soccer than hockey. But there's a more extensive minor league system for hockey, right? And like de player development is is better than it is for other sports. Okay, Canada needs a win. Wouldn't this be amazing though if they came back? This would just be an emotional roller coaster if they did. And we're going on to African clearing. Canada has beaten China on this map before, as Hera is getting set up here, and Hera is going to be playing as the Gujaras here. So. Team Canada will be needing to send him the Hurtables so he can garrison them. And he's got a decent TC spot. He's right by Vivi, who's playing as the Mayans and also has a decent TC spot of his own. Yo is going to be playing as the Cumans over here. He will be near to Slam, who is the Mongols and has a really nice TC spot with tons of wood to take. Also, the Mentalist. Sorry, not the Mentalist. That's a show, I'm pretty sure. But Mentalist is playing as the Cumans. And he's all alone. So Mentalist could have a sick boom over here. Chris, late with his TC, right? Really late with his TC. He was trying to find the perfect spot. Couldn't find any food. He does have additional villagers as Chinese, so he's not going to be too far behind in villager count, but he's not really going to benefit um, from the really, really nice Chinese start. And we'll see if they decide to re-this. Tim is going to be over in the corner with Bulgarians. And then finally, Lix will be playing as the Turks over here. That's a super late TC for, for Chris. Re. Yep, that's a good re. That's a good re. The TC was just too late. I think he was struggling to find a pond. I think he was really struggling to find the perfect spot. And yeah, that's just that's just a hideous TC. How many re's? Uh, China already used their re on the first Nomad. 
in Canada just use their only re on this. So there's no more re's. Isn't it one per Nomad game? I don't think so. I think it's one total in the set. No, it's not scripted that the TC will take more time. Every beef jerky, every every sieve starts with three vills. <laughs> China gets their additional vills as soon as the TC goes up. It used to be on Nomad Start that China would Chinese would start with uh, six vills. Why doesn't China start with six vills? Because they changed it. It was very popular on Nomad. Now it's not so popular. But in African clearing, it's good because you can TC food sources right away, right? Spanish build the same speed the first TC. I think they recently made that change. Don't know if it's in this patch, though. China 3? Yep. Playing well. I would like to see an African clearing game where Hera is not completely nuked. He has been nuked on every single African clearing game uh, that we've played so far in Nations Cup. He has never had an opportunity to boom by himself. He's always been right beside somebody. And we'll see if he can find himself. Well, this is going to be a restart. So, Or no, it's... Yeah, it is. It is. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. Question for my slightly balding superhero. When it went, how fast did it go? Losing it myself. Uh, I just, I just trimmed, shaved it off, dude. When my hair started to go. It was like, I noticed it at like 20 or 21. And then I could see it like falling out in the shower, which was really demoralizing. And then I remember going to a pool party and I got thrown in the pool. And when you when your hair is wet, you can see the little patch more like visibly. And a girl I was trying to hit on asked me how old I was <laughs> when I came up. And I was like, oh, fuck. It was a demoralizing moment. So we just we just got rid of it at 22. Thick boy, thank you for the 12 months. Is this the final final? Yes, this is the grand final. Did you get the girl? No. After you shaved it off, I never met her again, bro. <laughs> I only saw her that night. <laughs> that was a rough moment. I got thrown in the pool. My phone was broken. Um, all of my all of my money was soaked. The pack of cigarettes I had in my pocket was completely fused together. My clothes were soaked. This chick said that thing, which is, I mean, whatever. It's emotional damage, I suppose. And it was just like, and, and then I figured out I didn't have a place to sleep. So I had to sleep in the back of my buddy's truck. It was just not a good night, dude. It was just not a good night. Yeah. 
Don't worry, Dave. We love you. It's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> I just forgot how shitty of a night that was. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Canada needs a win, guys. And I believe. I believe. Mentalist, once again, all alone on this side. We've had um, two restarts. One for TC War. One was called. And over on this side. Ooh. This is not good from Licks. He is going to have his villager with the mill right beside the TC from Hera who's playing Gajaras. And Hera is kind of alone over here. So Hera might have an opportunity to have some space on African clearing, which is something he hasn't had yet. Yo is playing on the as the Cumans over on this side, and he'll have a pretty fast TC. Chris is playing as the Chinese, and he's going to be in the center. See how much idle TC time he has. It shouldn't be that much. He can go right to the fish. He'll get three additional vills. Chinese there. And then we have Tim, north of Chris, playing as the Bulgarians. North of him is Lix, playing as the Turks. Slam is playing as the Mongols, kind of in the middle of all the SY players, but with still lots of space. And then Vivi is in the corner, all alone here with the Mayans. That could be dangerous. If he gets into plumes or if he gets into eagles or something. And Chris has two seconds of idle TC time. Well played, Chris. Well done, Chris. Villager from Lix is on the run, too. Okay. Let's see where Harris sets up the mill. He sets it up up here. And they're sending all of the sheep over here to his mill. <laughs> and this is somewhere where China will probably never find. <laughs> There's a nice little mill set up here for Hera. Get the sheep inside. There we go. There we go. Hera's going to have some decent food generation with the Gajaras here. Tim? Does he see that? He doesn't. He doesn't see it. Let's see what Team China can spot. They know Harris TC is there because of the mill. They do not know about Slam just yet. But they just lost a, a sheep over here. It's hard to track when you have so many sheep roaming around. And they don't know about Chris either. Or even is Chris. Oh, they do know that something is here. There's a dead elephant. Meanwhile, from Team Canada... They see the TC over here from Lix. Um, they maybe know that there's something down here. Potentially have lost sheep. Slam is kind of coming over here towards Vivi. If he finds the house, he'll know. But they still aren't aware of Tim. However, they can see a house foundation. So maybe they assume that Tim is around this area somewhere. Villager count is ahead for Chris. He had a good start here. Moment of Zen. Brought to you by Vivi. Feudal Age is probably on the way shortly. For a mentalist maybe. But he doesn't have the food, does he? That's rough. He's trying to get the food in. Chris is learning yet another elephant. And he's going to have a ton of elephants here. Underneath his TC. How many sheep in this mill? We got nine sheep in that mill from Hera. He's going to go up to feudal age shortly too. Nice blocks from Chris to keep this villa alive. Chris is still in a pretty exposed position in the center of the map here. Slam has found his way to the outer woodline, and that's always good, though. If you're if you're relying on woodlines like this, like Tim is, you can get hit really, really hard. So it's always nice to have a little colony on the outside, and we can see that from Hera here. We don't see it from Mentalist. He's just kind of taking from the ones near his CC, but now he's... Potentially looping out. You can always go for a TC on that outer wood line. On this side, we've got Vivi, and Vivi is walling up. And Vivi could be the dangerous one here in this game. 
If he manages to boom up on this side, he could get into a lot of plumed archer numbers, or he could just go into eagles and steamroll. But we could have our Cumans player booming over here, Mentalist. Still has not clicked up though, Mentalist. If you're going to go 2TC, you got to be up quickly. Zamir, is this a late uptime for Cumans? It is. It is very late. Yo is going up right now, and Yo should be faster to that second town center. Chris is now signaling. Okay, so they found... They found Vivi. He saw a wall. They still have not found Tim. And they still have not confirmed where Yo is. Down here. So they definitely need to do some more exploration. Hera's got a barracks, and Hera will likely be going into scouts here. Which is exactly what he's doing. The scouts will also find him some more sheep. So that could be good. Garrison in the mills. As Mentalist now goes for a barracks of his own. And I don't think Mentalist will have enough resources for a second TC. He's just going to go military? Oh boy. Archer range here for Chris in the center. And has he found Tim yet? He has found one house and he is finding more. He he had no confirmation that Tim was here. And now he's like, oh shit. Tim is right beside me. Slam also going for an archer range on this side. And he's probably going to try and hit Vivi a little bit. And Vivi's playing FC. So Slam could disrupt him quite a bit. Maybe go through and chop on this tree. If he sends the archers forward and discovers the vulnerability there in that wall. And Slam is going for an outpost. Oh boy, we could have a similar situation to what we saw uh, in the games yesterday. Where Bad Koala was... His walls were chopped through by Leary. Tower here from Tim. That tower is going to take away from his defensive capabilities though. And Slam is... Potentially other golds to go to. Here is over here with some scouts. He's discovered Mr. Yo. And he's going to come forward for a tower. He's going to find both of the town centers. And Mentalist has actually gone for scouts here. So they're going heavy feudal pressure. Team Canada once again. It's not the first time they've tried for this strategy. Unfortunately, this means that Vivi will not be pressured at all and he will be able to get away with an fc and maybe even drop a castle on slam so slam needs to be very careful here now the archers from chris are heading over towards licks chris could maybe hit this gold with his archers does he have fletching on these things he does and he's gonna find this area he's also gonna find this and Lix is going FC himself. Hera is still pressuring over here on Yo. Mentalist now sending some scouts over to harass. And Mentalist is going to find some villager kills over on this side. China has potential though to really steamroll this game with some FC plays. Lix will be hit hard by these raids. That's the third villager that's going to go down there for him. And there's more villagers threatened as well. Slam is going for a tower. He's trying to pressure Vivi, and this could be good. Right? This could force the castle in a more defensive location from Vivi. Hera also going for another tower on the wood lines here from Yo. He's just trying to stall him out as much as he can. Mentalist has added that second TC. As Tim continues pushing forward. And now we have Mentalist in here with scouts, and he's killing even more villagers. And Hera is here as well. And Lix has just been nuked. Lix is down to 19 vils. Lix has 19. This is not a drill. Nix, Lix, Nix, whatever his name is, has 19 villagers. And Mentalist and Chris are still controlling the stone. He has a market. So maybe he can sell some wood and food to buy some stone. But then where is he? He's got a castle and that's about it. No res to make Janissaries. And Slam is still pressuring on this side. 
Hera is still pressuring on this side. He's going for another tower. He's got eight scouts. We've got Tim under pressure from Chris still. The heavy feudal age pressure for Team Canada once again forcing some really difficult moments here from Team China. As Hera is pressuring everything from Yo. 44 villagers from Yo. But he's had a lot of idle time here. And we look at Mentalist resources with 39. Resources are looking a little bit better. We've got Vivi now with a defensive castle. And that's probably good from Team Canada. Forcing that out defensively. Would have been terrible if that was on Slams Hill here. We have 19 villagers from Licks. And he's trying to... He's buying a castle. <laughs> he's trying... He's attempting to buy a castle. And he's putting it now on his gold. And he's going to try and recover. As Chris is just going to sit here with staying ground archers and make things incredibly difficult for Lix. Hera is pushing forward. More towers. Yo is just trying to keep himself alive. Mentalist is on the way to the castle age. Slam, I think, spotting that castle, signaling Hera to retreat. We will have Janissaries on the field pretty soon from Lix, but, I mean, he's going to struggle to even keep his TC running, let alone a castle producing Janissaries. And there's two players now... Slam and Chris on the way to Castle Age as well for Team Canada. And now Mentalist and Hera are both here with the scouts. Unusual there for Hera to not pick a villager. He's obviously paying attention to many things. And he's still forcing this down. And Yo's eco, I mean, Yo is just, Yo is really struggling with economy. Slam is even running away here. I think he knows. He's just going to be dead. We've got scouts here from Tim. We also had the towers earlier. Slam has a decent amount of crossbows. And he'll have towers in defense, but there's plumed archers here from Vivi. And I think this is a wise decision from Slam to just run over here. As Hera loops around with another tower on this side. Yo is at 57 villagers. Mentalist is at 43, and Yo is thinking about Castle Age. But, like, you look at Yo's eco, it's incredible how he's managed to survive here and keep it somewhat efficient and keep his TCs running. Here, we'll now lose these vills. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He doesn't realize. Meanwhile, on the other side, Tim is just full tower defense. Mentalist is in the Castle Age now. He's going for knights. Lix is still at 24 villagers. And very limited Janissary populations. And Slam. Quick walling in his TC vills. Yo is over here with the tower though. Hera is coming over with some scouts of his own. And... Yo doesn't want to the, let these scouts out. And the scouts are blocking the villagers from repairing this wall. This could be very concerning here. Yo is sending spearmen across though. And Slam, I don't think he's going to get this TC up. Oh, this is absolute tragedy for Slam over here. He's still defending on this side. He's trying to keep himself alive. Hera is still pressuring over here with the scouts. And Slam just abandons that TC. That's the correct decision. But the scouts are on the prowl still from Tim. What is Chris up to? Chris has crossbows here. He's going to be trying to track the Janissaries, maybe. And Mentalist will be sending knights over to Mr. Yo. But Mr. Yo has spearmen here. He will lose a few villagers. Just joined. Three to one China. Yep. Stonejaw. It's been... Uh, China's been playing really well. And one Janissary goes down. The others come back to defend because Lix knows he's in trouble. Knights are here for Mentalist. Yo is trying to expand over to this side. Slam is still struggling. 27 villagers only and he's still denied off this TC. Hera is still trying to push and he's on the way to Castle Age as Mentalist goes for another TC. Chris goes for another TC. They hit Lix very hard but now they're being hit in the center here. Chris... A mentalist. Okay. 
Oh boy. Like Yo is surrounded, but Yo has managed to keep his vills alive throughout this whole process. And Hera is quite late to the castle age. And now Chris is running into some major problems here as Tim has scouts. Vivi has plumes. Tim has more towers following up. However, on this side, Chris is trying to micro down the Janissaries. He's still not getting them. Great fight there from Lix. So we see a lot of dead light caver scouts there from Mentalist in that battle as well. 13 kills on those Janissaries. Mentalist clearing up the forward bills from Tim over there. Oh boy. Team Canada is within striking distance in terms of military and villagers. And Tim is still in the Feudal Age. Now Hera is going to be in the Castle Age. So he's the only player remaining in the Feudal Age here. The villager count for Yo and for Mentalist is still very similar. As Slam now loops around to this side. And he's just trying to... Oh, not again, dude. Not again. Not again, Slam. Not again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's happening again. It's happening again. Slam is just trying to find a safe position. But Yo is busy. And that means Hera can come in here with some camels and kill some vills. Janissary is now pushing in towards Mentalist on this side. Vivi is on 58 vills. Slam managed to take out quite a few... Plumes, but Plumes will beat crossbows at the end of the day. And Slam needs to abandon this TC. He did see the TC from Yo, though, and Hera's on the case. As Hera goes for a second TC of his own. Tim kind of YOLOing against Chris. We see Chris with 55 vills, Tim with 41. 26 vills still for Licks. And he goes for a castle over here to start the push. Harold's swooping in here to uh, snipe some more villagers forward from Tim. He's going to try and escape with those scouts, and he's still trying to get some value here against Yo. Yo has done such a good job to survive, and Slam just keeps losing villagers, man. Like, he did get a TC set up here good, but you feel like the, the TC should have been over here or something, right? He sent nine villagers forward, and he lost them all. Hera goes for another TC over here. Yo still has army though, so Hera will need to clip all this in. Which he does, and he's got two towers there to secure that. So Yo will need to back off. Castle is now in the middle of Mentalist base. There's a Janissary over here, and there's more on the way. Mentalist can kill this army with the Knights if Lix isn't paying attention. Lix is going to run right into this. Mentalist sees it. He kills one. He's going to try and kill these. Doesn't have the plus two armor, but does that really matter that much against Janissary? He should probably delete this mill, which he's going to do right now. And he's going to surround this and take it out. So there's the army from Lix. He sold his soul to get this army, folks. And Mentalist is going to clear this up. E Canada is now ahead on Eco, and they're now ahead in military. But Vivi is in a very dangerous position. Tim has finally clicked up to Castle Age. Vivi is at 74 vills with three TCs. He's safe in the corner. Does have any distractions. And he's in a position to maybe think about killing Slam outright. Slam will go for a siege workshop, and Slam is going to try and push Vivi, and this might distract him a little bit. Here. Chris is trying to expand out this way, but there's a castle there. It's very dangerous for them, and Mentalist goes for another TC. Vivi's on the way up to Imp. Do they know about that castle? They still... Okay, they do know about it. Camel's coming in here for Hera. 64 villagers. Yo is sitting on 83. China kind of has two players out of the game, right? But the two players they do have in the game are very, very strong. Mentalist with some good raids under the TC from Yo. This is very nice. 
Slam is still being harassed over here. He is pushing on this side, though, and he's looped all the way around as the eagle switch is coming in for Vivi. Oh, this is super concerning. Yo also going for a forward castle, but Hera is here. Hera is here. Yo is attempting a forward castle. That's going to be denied, even with pikemen versus camels. Hera is going to stop this forward castle. Meanwhile, on this side. Oh, what a wall off here. What a wall off from Lix. The knights are trying to get in. The Janissaries are sitting in a nice little enclosed position, and the knights will eventually win this battle. But that's a nice maneuver there from Lix to just keep the Cuman player distracted. Mentalist needs to go up to the Imperial Age, which he will be clicking shortly, and get into Paladin. But Lix is delaying him for sure. Here is at 68 villagers right now. Knights are still kind of harassing Yo. He's at 77. He's lost Vils. Slam is harassing this position. Here from Vivi. Chris is still struggling though. Chris at 89 Vils. But Tim has been on him all game. And now there's a castle on this side, right? Really rough. Chris is on the way to Imp though. He needs a castle of his own for sure to defend himself. The Eagles are going to be tough. Don't know who's going to win this game, guys. I really don't. Slam trying to attack around Eagles. He's just trying to delay as long as possible. Just kill him. Just kill these two. Close. And the Eagles are coming in. No, those are plumes coming into Chris's base. Mentalist just needs a wave of Paladin. Hera and Yo are still going at it. It's a grudge match over here. It has been Hera versus Yo this entire game. And Hera is caught up with Vils to Mr. Yo. Mentalist is over here with some knights too, killing villagers. Yo has just been struggling, but he's done such a good job, hasn't he? Just staying alive. Chris is still over here with some crossbows. The knights from Tim will try and clear that up and save Lix. Lix's eco is, well... It has been and will continue to be in shambles. Chris has to be careful about this. Oh, that's Hera's Maganel. Never mind. Has to be careful about this Maganel. And Yo is in a really rough position. But the Eagles are killing Slam. Slam just needs to hold as long as he possibly can. Needs to try and distract the Eagles and give his team time to really get into this game. And he's already run Vils. Slam has already run Vils across. And he's running more. Slam knows his assignment. He just needs to survive somehow. Lots of villagers exposed down here and Chris is on the way. Mentalist and Chris both get to the Imperial Age. Mentalist has 32 knights. He's going to upgrade the Cavalier. He's going to start trebbing this castle down from Lix as Lix just now tries to expand his eco. And Slam is walling off. He's just trying to survive as long as he possibly can. And Slam is sending more villagers across, bro. It's a mass migration. He knows what he needs to do. The knights are here to try and counter the eagles. Where are the crossbows from Chris? The crossbows from Chris are at the back here, and Yo is on the run because of it. Yo is eco. I mean, he's still at 83 vils, but half of it is idle, and now he's losing more villagers. At the front here, he's trying to go for a castle. Can't decide where to put that. Chris is getting conscription. He's going for another TC forward here. He's starting with the Chukanu production. Still no siege from him, though. And Chris is in a, a rough spot. There's so many flashing icons on the minimap here. It's crazy. Also, we have to mention, Hera is at 103 vils. I don't think we've seen him at 103 vils on African clearing in this tournament. I think he's just been nuked really early. Also has eagles with the Gajaras. As Yo goes for a castle over here. Hera should see that, though, and shift everything over there, right? Does he not see? He should. He just doesn't notice it yet. He doesn't care. He's pushing in. 
The Eagles are trying to come in here to raid, but Mentalist has that covered, and Mentalist is now raiding Vivi in the north. He's killing a lot of villagers up here, folks, and he's killing villagers from Tim, too. Canada is now above 100 villagers in front of Team China. Another castle here from Chris to just lock things down. Mentalist has 44 Cavalier, and he's getting Paladin. He's getting Paladin. And what can Eagles do against Paladin? Nothing. Also, Imperial Age is on the way for Harry. He's going into Chakrams. Eagles are raiding the Eco like crazy, though. Vivi is going to need to solo carry this game, and he's got 53 Eagles. See the villager count for Canada kind of dropping here as the Eagles are getting in everywhere. Cavalier coming over. Chris is going to be engaging here with Chukanu. Mentalist should turn around and fight this. But he's just sending the Cavalier in. Now he turns around. Eagle numbers are going to drop again. For Vivi. I have a Krepos here from Tim on the TC from Chris. But Mentalist is coming over with some Trebs to attack that. Eagles in the back are being cleared up by TCs in Chakrams. And Yo is still in a dire situation. He's held for so long. But now he's extremely exposed. And Mentalist is even up here. And he's going more Cavalier. And he's going to start harassing Lix. Who is just... Lix is just trying to reboot. Lix is trying to live a peaceful fishing, fishing life up here. And it's not happening. Man, the eagles from Vivi are everywhere, aren't they? Look at the minimap. There's his eagle streaming in, but Chris now getting rocketry. And he's got 28 Chukanu. The Trebs should be here soon from him. Paladin is now in for Mentalist. Paladin are under the TC from Yo. Paladin are under the TCs here from Lix. Paladin are pushing through the middle, wiping up the army from Tim. Under the TC from Tim, Mentalist. Carrying this game now. And Hera's in Imperial Age. And Hera has 120 villagers. He's also managed to quick wall over here against Elite Eagles. As now Paladin are being sent in that direction from Mentalist. Completely idling Lix's economy, by the way. Slam's still holding on. <laughs> 65 hills. <laughs> Elite Chakram on the way from Hera. Chris stretching out. Chris coming forward with, with Chukanu. Elite Chukanu coming in too. I'd love to see Siege from Chris. I just want to see Siege from Chris. God, these Eagles are annoying, aren't they? All Dorado Eagles, bro. Slam's like, give me some peace. <laughs> I just want to boom. <laughs> he loses his... That's the third failed TC of the game. Paladin's still coming in, though, and trailing a ton of eagles as Tim tries to reboom now. 50 villagers for Tim. 64 only for Yo. He's going to lose that castle, and Hera can fully focus on just clearing up Yo completely. Paladin's still killing. Paladin still killing over here as well. 87 villagers now for Lix. So he's kind of getting into this game. Where's the Chukanu mass here for Chris, though? Okay. Even Eldorado Eagles are going to struggle against Rocketry Chukanus. I don't get why Lix built a second castle when he only had one TC and so few bills. Because he needed to help his team somehow and distract Mentalist. Well, I mean, Eagles are going to do okay if Chris takes a fight like this. And he's going to have to replace his Chukanu numbers. But Lix calls the GG. Completely being harassed here on his eco. And Canada takes a game for the first time today. The vibes are back, baby. The reverse sweep is on. 
Man, yo, did such a good job over here, didn't he? Holy. Hera had him completely surrounded the towers. Yo had no woodland access down here Happy until Castle Age. And he somehow managed to just keep making vills. Keep taking wood from like the random trees around here. And he had like 65 vills by the time he clicked up to Castle Age. He lost so little, but it wasn't enough. Because Lix got hammered by Mentalist Hera and Chris. Slam had an unfortunate game for sure. <laughs> but I like the fact that he came forward and pressured Vivi. Imagine how awful that would have gone for him if he didn't. Vivi would have come forward with the castle, put it right on Slam's face. And Slam would have been dead even faster. Okay. Right back in this. Just got to win two now. Mentalist with an absolute beast mode game there. Doing the cumin thing. Looking nice. Take a look at the eco KD. <laughs> 206 for Mentalist. 100 for Vivi. Slam had three. Licks had four going Janissaries. And that was China's that was China's home map, right? Let's get a vibe check on the boys. <laughs> Group, thank you for the seven months. Stonejaw, thank you. I got a Accessible, feeling they're gonna want you. islands or team islands, that's my guess. They're silent in here. Very quiet. Hmm. Hmm. Hype them up? Nope. <laughs> they know what they need to do. They know what they need to do. All <laughs> muted? I think they're just taking a break. Okay, boys. Two wins in a row. Two wins in a row. They be pooping? Maybe. Mentalist is singing again. Okay, what? I didn't, I didn't mean to unmute myself there. I said I unmuted myself in the Discord call by accident. Oh, shit. Um, we're going to mute them. Anyone getting the same three ads over and over again on Twitch? What? No. Twitch playing the same ads that you don't want? Never heard of that, dude. You must be. No, you're capping. That's cap on a stack. FM, thank you for the gifted sub. Is there any way to get rid of ads on this channel? Sheesh. You sub. But plug Brandon, thank you for the butt plug Brandon. Thank you for the tier one, dude. Really appreciate everything you do.
I'm seeing Spider-Man later. Is there a new Spider-Man? I don't know. I don't keep track of that stuff. Animated one. Oh. Local. Thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Into the multiverse, bro? Nah. I was never a fan of Spider-Man. I remember seeing the first one uh, in theaters. The one with... Um, What's his face? And Kristen Dunst was his girlfriend, right? Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. With Toby, yeah. Tell me we're going. Yeah. Ballet, thank you for the 14 months. Change it back. Thank you for the two gifted. And I didn't like the movie. And I was a kid and I saw that. I didn't like it. I thought it wasn't very good. And I didn't, I haven't liked any of the other ones I've seen. So I'm not really a Spider Man guy. Are you watching Oppenheimer and IMAX? I don't know. I used to be a big, like, going to the theaters to watch movies guy. Um, and then I kind of got away from that. And I should start doing it again because theaters are expensive now, but they're way more comfortable than they used to be. You can get beer. They've got, like, very comfortable seats. You can reserve your seats so you don't have to worry about you know, coming in and being separated from your group. The only problem is that there's not very many good movies. <laughs> That's the only issue. Yo, Watson, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Appreciate it. Wait, getting beer is not a normal thing? Uh, Not until like five years ago, six years ago. Theaters couldn't have beer. At least here. I know there was probably many places in Europe where it was good, but. Go see the machine. I don't know. I think that like that machine bit is funny, but I think it's overrated. I don't really want to go see a full movie based off of it. Over here, you can bring your own beer into the theater. Okay, definitely can't do that. You will get kicked out. Not saying I haven't done it before, but you can't, can't do it. Have you been cut off at the theater yet? No, because you have to drive to the theater, right? So it's like maximum I'm having two beers. So I have to drive back home. Dave, have you felt today you should have been playing in the finals instead of Chris, for example? No, dude, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> if I was playing that Nomad, though, I would have told us to re. With those, we should have won that with those saves, even against China. Harris' start was just so bad. You can't have Spanish in the middle of everybody with no rhinos whatsoever. And no stone close by. You just can't. Was there ever a plan to play Survivalist? Um, Survivalist might have played when her when we were at NAC. I don't know. We had one set in like the qualifiers where he might have hopped in. I don't know. But this this is always our top four, right? I think there's a fairly decent drop off between mentalist and maybe raw or survivalist. So as long as everyone's available, it's just like the top four here. No Luca. <laughs> then we'd have to draft Mayans every single game, bro. Deco, thank you for the prime, bro.
Update civs? Oh, I should, yeah, I should. Loss with the Mayans. Win with the Chinese. Win with the Mongols. Win with the Gujaras. Oh, boy. Well, Portuguese will probably be for Team Islands, for Canada. Britons and Burmese are for Arabia. Uh, they'll have Vikings, Koreans for Team Islands here for... Uh, China, and then Franks, Ethiopians for Arabia. Looking at the other civs that Canada can use for Team Islands, uh, Bengalis might be good. Sicilians. We've seen them play Aztecs on there before. Slavs could be a possibility. Huns could be a possibility. Should be Sicilians in the in the pocket position on Team Islands. And we're going on to Arabia, guys. We're going on to Arabia. Canada will need to... Well, Canada will need to do something here in Arabia. And Chris has gone Burmese. And I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like stealing someone else's strat that you haven't practiced before. I don't like it. I don't. I don't like it. We should just play normal. So the strat with Burmese is basically going FC Arambai in the pocket position, and then your flank will just have to deal with uh, the pressure. But we'll see. We'll see what happens as we get into Arabia, and it's going to be Licks up against Hera over on this side. Hera is playing great, and he's playing in the flank position. And Chris is his pocket. Okay, I like this a little bit better because Hera is the guy with Tatars that is going to be soaking up the pressure and trying to keep Chris safe here. Hera's the dude. So they put Hera with Chris, and then they put Slam with Mentalist over here. Slam is playing as the Britons. Love to see that. And then Mentalist playing as the Huns. And that's just it's just a good sieve for Mentalist with the Huns there. This is a good sieve. So we'll see how him and Slam play together. On this side, we have Vivi as the Ethiopians, and he will be with Tim as the Franks. So Vivi and Tim on this side. And then Yo with the Huns in the pocket position, and he's going to be with Lix as the Saracens over here. As Hera tries to take a good fight here against Lix. Lix is still on the hill, though. Hera already down in HP. Hmm. I haven't played much AoE 2 in a while. Is Arambai particularly strong at the moment? They are once you get like 15 of them. So they're not as strong as they used to be. Um, especially in lower numbers, but they are fairly strong once you get up to like 15, 20. They'll be really good against knights, really, really good against range units if they get close. And in the later stages of the game, they get Parthian tactics, but that usually, like the Parthian tactics change only makes them a little bit more viable to keep massing in the mid game. It's still a really late tech to come in, right? So it doesn't affect their ability in like Castle Age. Just makes it more rewarding if you start massing them early and keep massing them. With the long term plan for Tatars to go for Cav, I think Tatars will play into Archers for sure. And then long term, probably like Keshik. Right? This is nervous times here. Let's take a look at the maps. Great gold for Slam. I mean, it's exposed on that side, but it's really far away from his opponent. Also good gold from Vivi. He can easily wall this off, and you see him already doing that. It's a pretty, like, woody Arabia generation. It's not super open. We see Loom coming in for these players. They're going to go up. The flanks are going to go up 18 population. Really cutthroat build with only two on wood. Um, and the amount of wood here means that the walls are going to be pretty good. And that might f play into the Arambai, um approach a little bit better. Arambai. 
Hera going up as well. Feudal Age is already on the way for Chris. What? So Chris is going scouts first. He's not going just straight FC. He is going scouts, and China might assume that he's just going FC. As Chris now pushes in the deer for Hera, and he's just going to choose to engage here against the scout from Lix. Lix and uh, Yo need to be careful because Chris is going to be up pretty quick. His scout will upgrade. Hera's still trying to debate the scout here from Yo. Yo is not going to fall for it. And Hera's got two full HP scouts, and his scout is pretty close to death. Four players on the way to Feudal Age for both teams. Yo, we'll be tracking exactly what Hera is doing. We got wall off now from Lix. He's going to set up a little wall around here as everyone gets the Feudal Age. Yo, where is the stable? There it is. And there's the stable for Chris. Going to open scouts and then get into Arabi potentially. Mm. Could be rough. This is nice though. This is really nice, picking off a villager, and when you go up at 18 population, you can't really afford to lose a villager, as Slam and Mentalist will harass that Goldville from our Ethiopians player, from Vivi. And now are they going to go back for another one? They've also forced a Spearman out of Vivi, which is actually a big expense at this point in the game for him, just getting to Feudal Age. Slam will be adding an archery range. He's being harassed by the scouts here now, too. As he's going to try and save this villager. I think he might save this one. No, he loses one too. So clap back immediately from China on the wood line from Slam. Market from Lix. He's playing Saracens. He's going for the market right away. It is cheap. So you can use it as part of your walls and you can balance. Make sure you keep the archers coming out. As Yo is running cover for Lix. Interesting base layout for Lix. Yep. Very, very interesting. Yo going for big walls too. Chris going for walls of his own. Slam going for more walls. And Slam is only playing one range. He needs to be very careful that he doesn't get overwhelmed here by Vivi. Interesting base layout for Slam, too. Hera has gone double range. And Hera will be harassing Lix, but Lix has the market there. Lix is going to buy food to keep his TC running. No, he's going to buy food for Fletching. So early Fletching coming in here for Lix. Hera still doesn't have that tech. And the scouts are here from Yo. Where are the scouts from Chris? The scouts retreated from Chris. Hera doesn't know about Fletching yet. He's going to learn pretty soon. Good damage early from Hera, though. Takes out an archer from Lix. Fletching is in. Also has his spearman doing work against the scouts. And Hera still doesn't have Fletching. Still no Fletching on his archers. Meanwhile, on the other side, Slam and Mental is kind of pushing forward here. Chris is going to complete the wall off on this side. He's got stone somewhat inside that wall. And he's just playing Scout Archer. None of that Arambai business. Burmese are a decent civ if you're just going to play Scouts in tonight. Fletching is on the way for Hera. And if we're looking at whose micro we would prefer here, I would rather have Yo over Chris as the player with the scouts, but I would definitely rather have Hera over Lix. There goes one archer. Trying to snipe the villager. Doesn't quite get him. Hera getting a little bit aggressive here. Chris is playing it safe. He's kind of fallen back, right? But more archers going down from Lix here. 
It's an important battle. Meanwhile, there's another important battle going on on the other side. As we see Slam and Mentalist taking advantage of that hill. Hera is falling back though. Hera is falling back. He's lost a number of archers. Yo is trying to clear up the archer numbers. Chris is trying to clear up the scout numbers as Hera micros back here. Very limited scout numbers here for Yo, and this might turn around. Hera might turn right back with his archers, along with the scouts from Chris. And we saw a lot of archers go down there from Hera, but more scouts from Yo, as Chris has an advantage. And Mentalist and Slam are now pushing in towards Tim's base. Tense moments. Very tense. And now Slam needs to defend over here. And it feels like they need to turn back. But they're going forward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe they needed to turn back. Slam running with all of his villagers. Tim is trying to bust into his base. There is no gold up here for Slam that Slam needs to defend though. So he could conceivably go for a tower. And they're going to look for an opening into Tim's base. But Tim's walls are rock solid. Maybe the gold though. The gold can be hit. Oh, God. Oh, Slam needs to defend here. Slam needs to defend here. Slam needs some wood. Oh, he's going for another tower here. Slam. Slam's in trouble. Defensive tower over here from Tim. Maybe this will force the army back. As we see Slam just panic building that tower with everything. Slam! Oh, Mentalist and Slam made the decision to go forward. It might be a terrible one. He's trying to wall off the scouts. He's trying to take out the archers. He's trying to wall around the tower. He's now hitting the scouts with his TC fire. Slam is trying to do everything to just survive. Mentalist is there as well. Mentalist will be attempting to break in. But Slam is in trouble. Slam is in deep, deep trouble. Hera and Chris are moving back across now. The archers have left though and Slam breathes a sigh of relief. Castle Age is on the way for Lix. He sold everything to get there. He spent his soul to get to Castle Age. And Yo is going double stable scouts. Hera is about to click up. But Lix is behind him. Oh, Team Canada. Oh, Canada. Oh, no. Chris is not going to be able to clear up the scouts here from Yo. Hera is not going to be able to clear up the archers here from Lix. And Team Canada is going to need to fall back. And now Mentalist is being hit. On the backside, and he is forced into a tower. There is pressure on Yo from this side, though. Mentalist and Slam have looped around here. Two players from Team Canada are up now. And this army is... Well, it could possibly be cleared. Also, if Chris finds this, that could be really nice before Lix gets to Castle Age. Don't think it's going to happen, though, and Yo is forced into a tower. Oh my god, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Hera losing his archer mask like that has me nervous. But there go the archers from Vivi. Mentalist and Slam clearing all of this up. But Vivi's on the way up to Castle Age. And what are Slam's resources looking like? It's pretty rough. Mentalist running around in Yo's economy. Yo still making scouts. And Chris is coming in to engage against these two. Oh boy, Yo is outnumbered in his own base. Yo is outnumbered in his own base. And he's got to make sure to keep this gate locked, which it is. Yay. Archer's still around here from Slam. And Vivi is looking for those, and he's looking to clear those up. Hera will see the crossbows coming forward here. And Hera's got his work cut out for him. He's going to get Thumb Ring automatically when he reaches Castle Age. He's going to get Crossbow. He's going to get Bodkin. And he's going to try for this tower. I don't know if that tower will complete in time. And it's Saracen Crossbow, so I don't know how long it's going to stay up. But it might buy him enough time to get Crossbow. And the tower has been timed almost perfectly here. No villagers going down just yet. One, I guess. Two. Hera Garrison! Oh my god, what is going on here? Ballistics is in from Lix. 
Oh, no, There's no. more pressure coming forward from Canada. China is ahead in villager count. Hera has thumb ring, and he can out micro ballistics. We've seen it before. And we got knights coming over from Chris. Scouts are coming from Yo, and Yo is still in the feudal age. As Chris goes for another TC. Chris is just going scouts into knights here with Burmese. And Hera will go for university. Crossbow number is now very similar between Hera and Lix, but Hera is behind in villager count. Meanwhile, on this side, crossbow numbers trying to be cleared up here. Slam trying to get value against that. He's not going to. Tim and Vivi will take a big fight and they'll win a big fight. And Slam is still not going up to feudal. As scouts now come into Hera's base from Mr. Yo. Hera will need to wall himself off. Hera will need to wall himself off, which he has done. Very nice job there from Hera. Knights are coming over from Chris to protect him. We need some big moments here for Team Canada. Lix is getting thumb ring now to kind of equal out the thumb ring from Hera. Lix is also stalling out his TC production. So Hera's going to kind of catch up in villagers. And they're going to snipe some vills here, I think. Right? Nope. Slam is on the way to Castle Age now. Slam has two towers to defend himself. He still has Mentalist here with some knights. And plus two armor is coming in for Mentalist. Just needs to keep up the knight production, which he seems to be struggling with. Slam once again under pressure. Maybe uncue some of these vills here. Maybe. Chris and Hera are looping around to Yo again, and Yo finally reaches the castle age. And he's going to have three stable knight production with plus two armor. But Lix might be Lix might be in trouble. Lix is looping back around with the crossbows. Hera is here. He's gotten ballistics. Ballist Lix has ballistics and thumb ring and more villagers. Or sorry, more crossbows. He doesn't have more villagers now. He actually has less. Archer range goes down for slam. Still 30 seconds away from the castle age. Fewer? Well, you're going to have fewer chances to chat when I ban you. Come at me, bro. I will. This TC remains up, and Crossbow and Bodkin is on the way for Slam. We've got ourselves a big clear up here. We've got Chris collapsing on the crossbows from Lix, and Lix suddenly only has 19 or 9 crossbows. And it's Chris versus Yo here. And in terms of night numbers, well, looking fairly even, but Hera is over on this side. So big fight for Team Canada over there. However, on this side, Slam and Mentalist are still building up. They're still waiting for a big engagement, and this TC is under fire. Ethiopians with the Saracen team bonus. He's taking out the TC. Slam needs to repair, but Slam, I, I mean, he's not repairing. He's just going to abandon it, I guess. He'll go for another TC back here. Chris and Hera looking for a way in. They're looking for a way in here. Thinking about taking out the Sable, maybe. More reinforcements from Chris being cut off. Villager count is ahead for Team Canada. And I think a big part of that is Lix just not making vills from his TC. Hera trying to micro round ballistics here for Lix. Trying to take out the crossbows. Chris trying to take out the knights here from Yo. And Hera still with some crossbows alive. Lix still with some crossbows alive. Yo is closer to his production buildings, though. And on this side, well, Slam and Co. are still struggling. Vivi has double TC. Slam 
Slime is at 55 villagers. Vivi is at 65. Chris is still sending army into the shots. Hera will go for a second TC now. Lix has a second TC of his own. And is Canada tracking this army? Are they tracking this army? Villager count is exactly even, but China is ahead on military. They're going to see it, right? They're going to see it. They're going to see it. They're going to see it. Slam needs to keep his crossbows near the knights for Mentalist. And Mentalist gets the stone wall up in time. Meanwhile, on this side, trying to take more fights here against Lix, but Lix has so many crossbows here, bro. Still, we're getting some snipes here from Hera. And the night numbers from Chris and Yo are just kind of stalled out. So it's basically like Hera versus Lix here. Hera maybe trying to do a little bit too much on that side as Chris's TC goes up. But now the other two players from the opposing flank are here. And they're going to try and make their way into Chris's eco. Chris actually adding scouts. Interesting. And they will they will provide a little bit of a meat shield, right? They're going to be a distraction, if nothing else. Light Cav is on the way. This army is going to get cleared up from Team China. Canada is still ahead in the villager lead. But there's another army pushing back this way, and Chris is distracted. Chris is very distracted. So Hera will have to deal with this all by his lonesome. Also, Slam... Still dealing with this. He's got three TCs, though. He's trying to recover. He's still at 56 villagers. Imperial Age is on the way for Vivi. Hera trying to do too much over here, I think. He's trying to carry the game. He's trying to do too much. But he has pushed back this force until Chris can join him again. Chris is at 97 villagers. We got 82 villagers for Yo. Chris is just spamming knights right now. Slam will try and wall this in. And, well, he's going to block it. He is going to block it. But now the knights will just simply run right into Mentalist's base. Or right into Slam's crossbows. Either or. As there's more crossbows back here from Vivi. Where on earth did these come from? This could be really good or really bad for Vivi. He's about to hit Imperial Age. And he's got 20 of his crossbows back here. If these get cleared up, that could be bad for him. Castle now coming. From Chris. Canada catching up in military count. But the Imperial Age timing here for Vivi is very concerning. Very, very concerning. Also, the Civ seem better for China, right? Big fight. Harris trying to fight uphill. Chris is here with a ton of knights, and he's looped right through here, and he's trying to engage directly against the crossbows. And this might be a huge fight for Team Canada. This might be a huge fight. There's more reinforcements coming from Harris and Chris. And they've taken care of this force. And Lix is once again down to like 20 crossbows. He's gone for a siege workshop here. Hera has control over the hill. Imperial Age comes in for Vivi. So this side is still a concern as Slam pushes forward and will kill some villagers. Military count now in Canada's favor. Eco count in Canada's favor. More crossbows are dying here from Lix. And the knights are dying too. Vivi is still up here with crossbows though. Oh boy. Oh jeez. And they're going to be Arbalist. Ethiopian Arbalist. Oh man. Slam is pushing on this side with his own crossbows. But he signaled this stuff. Okay, so only one villager dies right away. And they'll probably need to retreat and look for that. But right now, they're just looking for kills on the Arbalist here. And they're getting them. They are getting them. They're also getting some villager kills. Maybe down to 70 vils. Chris is still pushing over here. Lix is still in trouble. 51 villagers for him. Tim is on the way up to Imp. Yo is struggling with the night numbers once again. Mentalist is struggling with this. And Slam will need to help with that and more knights will be need needed back at his base 
But if those Arbalists get cleared up, Vivi's Arbalist number is going to be very low, indeed. Hair going for a castle on the hill. Chris is being raided, but he's dealing with that. Still 101 villagers for him. And now Chris and Hera are pushing in on this side. Still no Imperial Age for any of the players on this area. No Imperial Age upgrade for anyone on Canada. Mentalist looks like he's about to click up, but he's got stuff to deal with. And Slam comes back here to try and support Mentalist. And they will. But Imperial Age is about to kick for Tim. Oh no. Big fight here. Team Canada trying to take the fight, but Hera's going to lose all of his crossbows and the army count there is dropping as Chris just has to abandon his teammate. Say good luck, bro. If he fought there, he would have lost a lot more knights. There is this castle they can fall back to. And Hera is starting to tech into cav archers. Cavalier on the way. Is there anything to deal with Cavalier over here? Doesn't look like it, right? Chris is just going to go for a massive raid, maybe on Tim. If Chris gets in on Tim's base, he could do some work. I think Tim is the guy you got to hit. You got to force Tim to be distracted. This is a massive force coming into Hera's economy, though. And Chris is going to Yo instead. Maybe he could get some good damage on Yo, but Yo's going to have two castles here. He's going to deny that castle, which is good. And he's going to be killing villagers here, which is good. And Chris is on the way up. And Yo, it doesn't look like he realizes yet. He just realized. But how on earth do you stop this? With a castle age only army. And how on earth do you stop this? Absolutely no fear. That's the Imperial Age TC from Hera. That, that's, Imperial Age is just simply not coming in. You're going to have to cancel that and remake it in a different TC. That's also the MTC, though! I think Yo has enough to distract Chris to go up to Imp. Hera's MTC will fall. Slam is being raided everywhere. Mentalist had to take a big fight in the center here. Yo is still at 107 villagers even after this raid from Chris. And I think Hera is just in a GG position. And the GG is called and China will win Nations Cup. Oh, not again, bro. Not again. We got to the finals again. Congratulations to China. They played really well, and they got better as the tournament went on. Canada did beat them earlier, uh, beat them 3-1, but uh, weren't able to pull out the finals victory. And I know a lot of the Chinese fans are going to be very, very happy with this performance. Well deserved. They beat Finland. They beat Canada. Um, and yeah, great job for Team China. Really, really good. Really good. Super sad for Team Canada, of course. We were cheering for them all the way. The surprise of the tournament, I think. Big names on the team, but no one knew they were going to do that well, beating Finland and beating China. And then, of course, losing here is super unfortunate, but... Canada, you can hold your head high. Another finals appearance in a Nations Cup. Ooh, sad day for Canada and therefore the world. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Siseke, thank you for the 11 gift I did. Sad day for Canada. If you guys uh, see this on YouTube, if you've been watching the videos on YouTube, thank you. Been a lot of views. Anyone tuning in on Twitch, thank you. Uh, Nations Cup prize pool probably still open for donations. We're up at like 18,000 and something. Um, and yeah, it was a great tournament. Shout out to um, Paradox. Uh, Akal, I believe, and, and Mifo. Um, 
I think Hugh, Huey, Hugh Quaddle, also a host of this. Welcome to Rapture. Adiko. There's a lot of hosts. There was a lot of people putting in time behind the scenes for this. It took about six months uh, to complete the entire thing. And it's been a blast. I haven't enjoyed myself with the tournament uh, this much in a very long time. And uh, yeah. It's been amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support as well. And we'll just switch back here for posterity's sake. And, and that's going to be 4-3 for China. Damn, dude. Canada struggled today. China played really well. 